That's brown noise, that, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we are um, as for me and uh, Catherine are live right now. Join, join. It's free to watch and or listen. Caterers in the house. Just click www dot twitch dot tv slash t l n a and join the fun or call oh sorry wait two eight six six three seven <laughs> why is the fun in inverted commas because it's i'm not sure fun. Fun. even hello sketchy meatball if you're not listening Everybody, good day to you. We're just doing the. So I'm just working the socials. Just, just doing it. Uh, I'm at Ian Lee on Twitter, if uh, you want to know, and I'm something on uh, Facebook. If you want to join Meta, I don't know if you signed up to the Meta Corporation, but I'm on. <laughs> I'm on there. Have you signed up to the Meta Corporation yet, mm, Catherine? I don't really like that kind of business. Oh, baby, baby, boo boos. Are we offline or on? They seem they're there, but I couldn't. I well, then we're on. on. If they're, if listen. Katifer and Stacey have not got secret access to my house internet. They have. Have you? My computer is not showing it up. Let's let me let me have a little look. www.twitch.tv slash T L N A. Yes. Well, Hi. We're live. Sorry. This is it. To, oh, look at us. When beautiful low def. Are we in high? There we go. Hey, that's a good camera, isn't it? We've got, remember, we got that for free. We've got the computer for free. Morning, everybody. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Oh, we got. Let's just, just mention these people's names, Catherine. Show them a bit of respect. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Say their names. Say my name. Say my name. Katie Baby, where you call me? Sketty Meatball. What song was I just Andrew. singing? Say my name. Say my, my name. name. If no one, one is around, around you, you, say, say baby, baby, I love you. Baby, it's I love you. Every other word woman. is a huh. Yeah, okay. It's uh, Destiny's Child. Every other woman is a hoe. Is a ha. Every other word is a ha. Yeah, Every okay. other woman is Basically, a hoe. The story is this: she's on the phone to her boyfriend, and he won't mention her name. It's like he's going, "Yep, yep, yep." So she knows someone else is there. Do you know my favorite Destiny? Do you know my favorite Destiny child? And he said child. That sounds inappropriate. My favorite child of Destiny. Kelly or Michelle? Kelly. You know why? Busy mouth. <laughs> she has got a, a busy, busy mouth. mouth. A lot of teeth. <laughs> Love a busy mouth. Yeah. Love it. Kelly. Mind you, Michelle's got quite a busy mouth. <laughs> Jack, Little, to... Jack Little, don't even joke about that. Shut your, shut your face. Say um, Catherine's a woman that hates women. Sad. What? What is this? Is this true? Is this true? Say hello to everybody. Okay, I'm going to start saying we'll do it. it. We just, just got distracted by Kelly's mouth. Yeah, go on. Catherine's Katie Fern, Sketty Meatball. I'm not going to say hello to Jack Little because he's dead to me. Andrea B. Jack Little Peen. Sarah Footwells. That's quite, actually quite good. Plankton. That. Matty by the Seesaw Krog. Uh, Zermott. Have you heard Matty's... Nella Baines. Hillary Clinton impression? No. Is it good? I'm just... Ch it, I'm, I mean, I'd say... It's... You would not... You've, you, we've met Matty, so we know yeah. what he sounds like, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard it on Jimbo's show and... I thought, who's that woman? But it's Matty. It, I mean, I, I don't know what Hillary. I don't think. I don't think I've ever heard Hillary Clinton speaking, so I don't know the accuracy of it. But it's some sound. It really is some sound. Um, well done, for Lulu, that. Uh, Izzy, uh, Music Soul, Cockbongo. Oh jeez, Tony's in. Uh, hey, sit down. Hey, Moraine. Hey, George. Thank hey, you for the subs. Let me do it. I'm doing and the, Alistair, I'm doing the subs. who says, "Hey up." Oh, yeah, you're doing the subs. I'll Thai, do Bar Thai Barber's in the house. There's Thai Barber? Thai, not Thai Barber. Thai and Barber with his skillful fingers. I mean like that, not anything rude. My hair's looking great, by the way, Thai Barber, isn't it? Don't you think? I, what I like is this. I like this bit here where it goes from the top to the side. It's, it's kind of like northwest. Yeah. I like that that bit there, the northwest part of my head. It's sculptural. <laughs> Harsh is in the house. Cherry P is here. Sir Krog. Daniela Rossetti, thank you for the sub. Jimbo. I'm actually going to up the sub goal because 
because yesterday's sub goal was a hundred. What you think now? It's now it's achievable. Now the well, I was about to type in. Like... So you got to type in stream elements. I was about to type in sweetmeats. Why? I am. Um, I took my pills last night a little bit too late, and they're still. I only got up present. twenty minutes ago. I am. Um, well, when Catherine came in and she, um, I gave we, him a hug to my... say hi, and he went. Um, see you later. See you later. Yeah, and I went. What? What now? Granddad, I don't want to be like you, not just yet. When we went, I've just remembered something when you said sweet meats. You remember when we went to the World Buffet in Milton Keynes the weekend? Oh, yes, And there baby. was some inventive spelling around the uh, oh. s- sweet chilli sauce, right? <laughs> Apparently it's sweat chilli sauce. Sweat chilli sauce. So that became a thing for a good 10 minutes, and then someone had some sweet balls. Well, you can guess the hilarity when we Who are my a- sweet balls? applied the usual... Um, the get the gag to the to the balls. Uh, it was sweat balls. Those sweat those balls were delicious. I've seen them they before. They were good. Were they? Are they Indian sweets or something? I, no, I don't like Indian sweets. They're bloody horrible. Not the Indians. Um, I've seen them before. Does anyone knows? Let's open up Skype, right? So if anyone knows like what they are, little. They were sort of. How would I? How would they were I describe balls them? in syrup. They weren't dumplings because there was a there was a there was a there wasn't just a. There was a certain amount of. They're almost like do- like a donut, like a round donut, weren't they? Are they like Japanese donut things. It doesn't go. Listen, listen to it. it. Goes up the left one, right? Yeah. Right one. Let me see. Let me see your actual nose. But it maybe doesn't. You, maybe you've got. Um... Oh yeah. I've used too much now doing that. Doing that. I'm gonna. You haven't got a, sw- a swelling on one side that's preventing it from getting this its is, full purchase. No, no. Well, this is the, this is the side. Oh, this mate. is the side. Um, can I? Okay, J- Jimbo, you clip this. I'll do it and then you do it. Those balls were delicious. Those balls were as delicious as they sound. You have to clip it. I ain't clipping it for you, mate. What do you think this is? The, the, the Jimbo clip show? Not bad oh, idea for a show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Jimbo Christmas clip show. You want 10%. I think I would watch the Jimbo Christmas clip uh, clip, clip show. show. I would watch that. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, um, where's everybody? Is we, to everyone knew we were going to be here, right? Why? Why have we only got? We're a bit people? early. It's only ten oh one. Well, no. Well, we're on time then. Today's the day, big day. What's happening? Uh, it's we sell the ass off of Patreon. Oh yeah, day. that. Um. Hunty, thank you for the sub. Rebby, thank you for the sub. Metella, thank you for the sub. Wow, we're going to make the 125 easy today, but it's not what it's about. Caveman 1333, welcome. Uh, and Mingball. Ming uh, is kind. You know, he sent me a couple of messages um, on Twitter um, just to make sure I was all right because I've been a bit emotional lately. I sent a message saying, man, the F up, Snowflake. And yeah, not for sleep. You can guess which one worked. Caveman 1333 makes a great point. Yeah. Hello, Ian and Kath. Thanks for all the free content you are giving us. I wonder if the biker guy from last night is enjoying all this free content. I wonder whether I he's... wonder, Doms, thank you for gifting that sub. I wonder whether he was put off by the fact that he couldn't yammer on all yeah. night and maybe yeah. that's put him off. I don't so know. he said he would... He got, he, got, he got shut down, didn't he? He said he would consider signing up to the Patreon. He didn't actually say that in so many words. What did he say? He'd have a look at the Patreon. Okay. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean he was considering signing up or anything. It's like... Can I, can okay, I, okay. okay. Jimbo, Jimbo, click, click this. this. I'll do, I'll do it, it, then you do it. Those, Those balls, balls were delicious. delicious. Those, Those balls, balls were as delicious, delicious as they, as they sound. sound. There you go, you clip it yourself. Um, yeah. uh, Dom's 1982 is gifting a tier one sub. Hey, Dom's, thank you. Thank you. You're great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a great human being, and we've always said it. This is this today is, is an advert, right? We're here to about 12, 12.30, um, and then we're live again on Friday night. Today is an advert because today is the first of the month. That means it is the best day to sign up to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. Patreon.com slash I-A-I-N and Catherine with a K. Why don't you tell the ladles and jelly spoons? <laughs> yeah. What... Uh, Brown Eyes Dolly, thank you for gifting a sub. Did, I, did we say that? Did you say that? We, Dom's, no, Dom's is Dom's. gifting a sub. Thank you, Brown Eyes Dolly. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Catherine, why don't you tell the ladles and jelly spoons what they get if they sign up to <laughs> the different tiers at patreon.com slash I-A-I-N and Catherine with a K. 
Okay. Two pounds, you get a warm, fuzzy feeling inside and our eternal we, gratitude. We say a prayer for you. Yeah, we do. And we do have a list of those people, yeah, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, totally. We think of Morning, them Max. all the time. Right, then there's four ninety nine, And for four ninety nine, you get the Best Of podcast. Uh, so as soon as... Plus, all these are plus that, by the way. Just yes, pl- of flag course. Up. So you get the Best Of podcast. And that just means like 45 minutes of the... the uh, we cut out all the waffle and all the nonsense I'm and all the ch- like, crap the, the bits and the morose bits. And the, no, sometimes we put those in because the morose bits can be fun. Anyway, you get 45 minutes and people find that that's a really good way to sort of keep up with things without being super engrossed in it. Because I know some of you got lives, right? So that's for four ninety nine plus fat. Then it goes up to six pounds sixty six plus fat. And yep. for that, you get that podcast. You get to access the live shows. Um, you also get to see the replays, right? Yes, yeah. And you get the full audio. So if you'd rather just listen to the whole thing and have us on in the background, yammering what level away. What is six sixty six? Six sixty six plus fat. I, that's probably the best value. You, you know, if you're thinking I'd like to support the show. You're going to get a lot, like hundreds of hours going back to June. Yeah. June. We've been doing this for, we started in July. July, August, September, October, November. This is our sixth month. And it's been quite a ride. We've been through a lot. It's Um, been horrible, actually. (laughs) It has. It has. But there have also been moments of lightness and hilarity. Ming says 666, or as I call it, Value Value City. City. Yeah, because I think that 499 is good if you just want to sort of dip your toes in. Um, and, you know, you're not that bothered about the live shows. Hello, Darren, Sherry. Hello, mate. Let me just go and um, get a tissue. because We haven't finished doing the thing. Again. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, so I go 666. There are all kinds of bits in between if you want to just chuck us a bit extra. You can chuck us a little bit extra. Uh, then it goes up to, is that 20 next? There's, well, there's, yeah, 20. So plenty for 20. You get all that stuff from before, but you also get access to private meetings and some other features that um, only those those special guys get. So if you want to join in with the um, monthly meetings for the Plenty for 20, where you get to sort of talk about the show, see the other people in the community um, safely without them like knowing where Christmas, you are and Christmas accessing show. your house and like finding your family and all that sort Christmas of stuff. Christmas party this month. For the There's 20s. a Christmas fam- uh, Christmas family party. What is it, Lollapalooza? Uh, Christmas Bazaar for fest- Christive Jamboree. Jamboree, that's the word. That's for, if you, and you can, you can go up and down the tiers as you will. You know, it's down to you. Like a bride's nighty to quote John Shuttleworth. I mean, how old-fashioned brides don't wear nighties anymore. Um, um, so there's that. Uh, and then there's like a hell of a lot of other stuff uh, above that where you get like super special treatment and we give you like our firstborn child and all that stuff. Right, I just really need to go and blow my nose because it is uh, uh, cold outside and it seems to trigger me. I'm trying to work out how to... We, we had someone just sign up and I need to add the data. Does that do it? Does that do it? Is that yeah? We go. We done it. We got. I got it. We're on the right. We're on the groove. We're in the New York groove. Um, and if you listen to radio anywhere last night, it was a bloody good one, right? It was a bloody good it was one. So good. It was brilliant. Um, and you can dip your toes in for four ninety nine, says Stacy, or get a wetsuit on for twenty. Um, and please, can you shut the door? You leave it open all the time, and it bleaches the picture oh. every time. Oh. Um, I can only afford to do the radio anywhere stuff because of. Not completely, because of otherwise the cats can't come and go, because of the um, Patreon, because of the Patreon. So and we lost twenty people, we lost twenty good men and men and women, good and true, and we need to get back up. And I know some of you have upped it for the Christmas bazaar jamboree. Thank you. That's appreciated. But I also know that a lot of people are feeling the pinch. It's coming up to Christmas. There are extra demands on your time, attention and money. So we get it. You don't have to explain anything to us. John Bat, thank you. Two final... Oh, we'll do some more business later. I mean, today is a freebie and it's an advert. Um, and, you know, if you last month we had two weeks of shows that were exclusive to Patreons that no one else could see. You can go and have a look at those now. O2... Um, uh, shut that door. Thank you, Andy. O2... The, if the bike guy turns up... If Deptford Cyclist turns up, let us know, um, because he owes us a Patreon. Um, and 0203 286 6370. 0203-286-6370 is the telephone number. And um, Doorgate is already on. Caveman 1333. Don't close the door. Close the door. Don't close the door. Sounds like a classic Boris line. Um, yep. 
Uh, I can dig that. We're going to wait for 30 seconds for a phone call. Here we go. Let's do it. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. First call of the day. First cab off of the rank. Good morning. Good morning, Alistair. I'm going to stop you for I'm going to stop you for a second. I don't think they can hear you for some reason. Bear with please hold the line caller. Uh try again now please caller. Go go go. Hello. Hello. Um welcome. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. How hello. Start again. So, uh, okay, hang on. Okay, it's first cab off the rank. Good morning, Alistair. Hi, Alistair. Morning in. Morning, Catherine. Morning, Alistair. Can, Great to hear you I... loud and clear, mate. Can I just say, with your scarf on, Ian? Yes, sir. And both of you with little sniffles and little cold and the Christmas tree in the background. Yes, sir. It feels like Christmas. <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? <laughs> also, a little row over something really boring. Christmas. Yes. The door, yeah. is, the door is important. Yeah. You do it every yeah, time. Yeah, but you wanted me to close it but not close no, it. No, no. I wanted you to pull it too. I, my fault. I should have said pull it too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Have you got your Christmas tree up, Catherine? Well, it's in. I bought one. I got it in the mini. I saw yeah. that as achievement enough. In the enough. what? In the mini. I saw that as achievement enough, getting it in the mini and then into the house. So we're all just having a little rest now. <laughs> and it's in the all corner right. of the room waiting to be unfurled. But the kittens yeah. are very curious about it. Uh, and the netting apparently is great purchase for, you know, it being integrated into their obstacle course that they um, run all the time. So it's all fun and games. But I'm I'm gonna sort it out today. Today. Yeah. Well get make sure make sure that you make the children help you. Um, well yeah, they do. They always do, and that's why there is a note in the um angels box to say who put the angel on the tree the year before. Who put the bop in the bop do up do up? Who put the sham in shamalama ding dong? Otherwise that's the first row of Christmas. On the first row of Christmas, the youngest said it was her turn. So um, now we know whose it is because the angel has her a record. Can I just say, exciting news, Alistair. We are now simulcasting on Radio Anywhere. Oh, I see. We are simulcasting. Let me just make sure it's working. Let me just make sure it's working. Alistair, we are... Yeah, it's working. We are now simulcasting on Radio Anywhere to the seven people listening on to Radio Anywhere right now. This is live. It's my, uh, Wednesday morning. It's 11 minutes past 10. I'm Ian Lee, and I'm joined by Catherine Boyle. Hi. And this is your mid-morning um, show, and we're here to tell you today to sign up to the Patreon, so you, you get to hear about the Patreon as well. Okay, there we go. Alistair, continue yeah. your civil play. What about your uh, tree? What's going on with that? What are your well, plans? Well, the thing is, is... Since recently, Catherine, mm. I'm sorry to report that I'm a bit of a Scrooge at oh, Christmas. Yeah. You know, bar humbug, I've got a, um, I've inherited from me, from me, mum and dad, a fake Christmas tree that, I'm, that, you know, is small, easy to put up. It wouldn't take me any time at all. But I think, you know, just for me, I mean, can I be bothered? What about and Jeannie? Suppose, Isn't it Jeannie's first Christmas? Ah well, I have. I want to open cat clinic today because I have. I have. I have real troubling news. Oh no! About her behaviour. Anyway, um, yeah. So I, I, sometimes I think I will put the tree up. Sometimes I won't. Were but, I to be on my own um, and not uh, not see not having boys or anything over for Christmas? Yeah. My boys over Christmas. And so, um, I probably wouldn't do it. I might get... You can see that little small one I've got by the fire that actually was a real Christmas tree that was dead. I might get something like that, but I probably wouldn't bother. Mm. I would. It's a faff. It's a faff. And it's also it can be a real reminder. I'm not saying this is for you. I'm talking about me. Um, that life didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Mm. Yeah, it's... Um, sometimes I think I should make the effort because actually if I tidy up the living room and put the Christmas tree in the cards, maybe... Maybe it'll cheer me up, Catherine. What do you think? I don't know. Will it cheer you up or will it send you d deeper into a spiral? I don't know. I, I feel like recently the only way I can equate 
how I've been feeling to that is yeah. um, on the days when I've not got the kids, do I bother getting out of my pyjamas? Yeah, yeah. When yeah, the answer yeah, yeah. is, oh, can't be bothered. But I always feel better when I've done it, when I've had a shower and I've got up and I'm dressed and I'm presentable. But mm. I also think there's something to be said of just letting it, <laughs> just letting the misery wash over you I... for a day or so. Do you know what I mean? So whatever. Roll, roll, roll with the, I think, yeah, maybe roll with the, the mood and, and it doesn't matter. Don't feel guilty either yeah. way for not doing what. And, do what you uh, need to do, you know, do what you need to do. If something is giving you the ick in life, you know, that's that feeling of, oh, I don't really want to do that. Don't do it. Don't do it and yeah. see what happens. But if you've been sitting with the ick for six hours and you're thinking, and I stink, maybe it's time for a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it's my measure. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, uh, Alistair, as well. Uh, we will see you at the Christmas f uh, festival. Jamboree. Yeah, jamboree. I, I upgraded. We saw. We saw. We're yeah. going to see you at the Christmas Jamboree, and I'm looking forward We've to it. We've got plans, haven't we, now? Um, well, we, you, the plan is we're going to come up with a plan. <laughs> do you want me to do a turn, Ian? Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to sing a four-minute song again. But, um, you know, maybe I'll come up. Maybe a poem. I know how much you love poems. Ian. He really does, especially at Christmas. I'll have, a Christ I'll have a Christmas poem from an old man. I'm not going to I'm not gonna <laughs> say no to an old man over Christmas, Alistair. You know me. Anyway, uh, I need to go on to Jeannie's behaviour. Yes, please do. Um, By the way, Zach and John Bat and Brown Eyes Dolly, thank you so much for the subs and the gifted sub. So, um, you know, you're probably both aware when you're um, stroking the cat and it goes on a bit too long, yes, the cat can become over-simulated or whatever the cause is yeah. and then turn around and sort of bite you yes. on the whatever, which is, you know, we know that happens and we just have to be aware. And Now, this happens, but not only did she do that, she followed me down. I didn't, I didn't have any, I hadn't dressed, I didn't have any socks or anything on. And she was whipping at my ankles <gasps> and pulling the skin off my ankle. Well, and do you know what? I had to turn around and shout at her, no. And I just saw that look in the eyes and I thought, my God, she wants to kill me. <laughs> I don't think she wants to kill you, Alistair. I think she's bored and wants to play. Do you play with her? Um, well... Like, have you got one of those sticks, like the fishing rods with a, with a uh, fluffy thing on the end of it? They love those. I've just seen Nelly Bain's comment. What has <laughs> Nelly Bain said? Alistair, you've pulled. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, get one of those fishing rod things and whip it around for 10 minutes and she'll be knackered and leave you alone. Yeah. She's craving no, stimulation. It's... And if, um, if you won't play with her, she will find something to play with. And it might be your flesh. Yeah, I mean, have you both been... Well, I know you've been badly injured by a cat here. I nearly died, oh. mate. Nearly lost my hand. One of the yeah. kittens nearly took a finger yesterday because I was holding a treat in it, and they've got no... I haven't taken a finger for a long time. <laughs> they've got no... <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. Um... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, AJ, AJ Emerald Isle uh, and John BG99, thank you so much for your subs. We're going to make that 125 this morning. I can feel it. Uh, yeah, get one of those wavy sticks. Cats love it, man. Yeah, okay. Well, look. Um, also, the um, thing Cater forgot for Pats, it's like a little, tiny little teddy. I don't know, maybe three inches tall. And it's filled with catnip. Mm. And the cats go, I had to take it off Pats because she wasn't well enough to play with it. I could just see her hip sliding off. Um, but they're great. Just, I'll tell you what else my kittens love. those. You can get really cheapo little sort of, they look like little mice. Remember you've got them because they can give you a shock in the night. Little tiny cheapo mice covered in sort of um, fluff. They've got yeah. <clears throat> little bead eyes and a little tail made out of like suede air or something. They go and they've got a rattle in them. Chuck those. Honestly, Yoshi will fetch those until the cows come home. Loves it. And they and they all play with those. And it gives them something to do. Because <clears throat> if she's mostly in the in the house, she'll be bored and looking for sort of stimulation. And so she's and those hunting instincts as well will kick in. So as soon as there's a moving <laughs> a moving target, she's on it. And that's what you've become. 
Dave says his cat goes mad for the laser pointer. The laser pointer's fun, but it's like, uh, it's hard work for me, well, and also it's got to be dark. There is also a concern that it's frustrating for the cat because there's no end for it. Okay. Yeah. I can't get it. Uh, who cares of cats? <laughs> then maybe next you'll be saying, I can't give bread to ducks. What well, a world we live in. Well, that's oh. a bit like me at the moment, and I just say no end to it. That's like my um, libido. Wow. Have you... Have you heard that they're making cups out of spunk? It's a true story. Yeah, salmon, salmon splooge. Spunk cups. Honestly, absolutely true. Like it's like an you can make it into it's it's like um an um plastic. You can make it into a plastic. I guess they solidify. I guess they leave it in a sock for a I week. I don't even and want to then... think about that salmon farm. It's not for humans. What? It's not human splooge. That's what they say. No, it's not. That's what they say. It's not human splooge. But I think we know <laughs> where this is coming from. I was from, eating literally. a smoked salmon bagel when I read that article. Put me right off. Mm. Very salty. Pete says I have a suggestion to help Alistair with his libido. Two words. No. Shut up, Pete. All right, Alistair. Thank you. Ma- oh, by anyway, the way. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll tell one, you that privately. Isn't it one word? Isn't it proprietary? Isn't it one word? Let, I'm not googling it. <laughs> my, my kids use this computer. Thank you, Alistair. Have a good show. See you. So the Christmas jamboree that we're talking about, is it's not the Luton show on December the 12th. So we've got kind of two big things coming up this month. We're doing a live show, emotional, on December the 12th in Luton at the Bear Club. It's sold out, um, but we have got I have got three spare tickets um, if anyone wants them. I've got three spare tickets. Um so that is happening. If you can't make it there physically or you're nervous about coming physically, and that's cool, we get it, we get it. You know, there's the Omnicron B, which of course spells no crimbo. Um, you've seen that. Why? What, what I don't understand, right, a moronic B, what I don't understand, right, if it is the new world order, why would they just put the, why would they tell us? Why don't they just call it, um, you know, dangerous variant X? They, they call it an anagram of what it is. Because they love signalling to thick conspiracy theorists, obviously. So if you're scared of coming or you don't want to come or you're nervous or you, you haven't got a ticket, you can still watch the show yeah. uh, for six quid. If you go to ianandcatherine.com slash shop, for six quid, you can buy a digital ticket for the show. If you're a 666 and above Patreon, you get it anyway. So if you've not signed up, sign up. I'm che- I keep checking my phone and no one else is signing up. So that's bad. That's bad on you. Yeah. You can also buy a backstage pass for six quid. You get to see the before and uh, the show and the interval. But no, the Christmas Jamboree is going to be on Zoom and it's for the £20 and above patrons only. So maybe you just want to sign up for a month at 20 quid, and it's Christmas Jamboree. It'll be a Zoom meeting um, and we will be wearing Christmas jumpers and hats and we'll have mince pies and stuff. And we encourage you to do the same thing. Might have a little bit of Christmas music in the background. It will be a right laugh. And we do those meetings every month uh, for the £20 and above. But this one, um, this one is, is a Christmas Jamboree. Uh, Lulu Squish, I lost a Facebook friend because I'm empty-headed for having the jab, all because she couldn't get a McDonald's in France without having the jab. It's people. That's people, you know. Um, those people are a-holes. 0203-286-6370 is the telephone number. It's a Patreon drive today, and we've only got one Patreon signed up. So come on. Um, come sick on. Amos, though, is living the dream. Sat watching you in the Gloucester countryside on a break from building a stone wall. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like stone walls. Oh, that sounds right rugged, though. People, they cheat with stone walls now. They put metal. They don't. They put, like, sort of tough chicken wire over it to keep it in. I think that's that. That's rubbish. I want to know where the conspiracy theorist got Omicron B from. I thought it was just Omni, Omicron. Omicron. I don't know. I don't know. Ian Lee fan, I think I bought a backstage pass but got no notification. I think you're on the list. No one gets a notification. What's going to happen is it's a week Sunday, so I will quite possibly, I will send the links out next week. I'm holding off setting them up until everybody is signed up. Um, but you will get the links towards the end of next week, and it's going to be a hullabaloo. It won't work, and I'll have to refund it. We know that. We know that. But it might work, and if it is, it's beautiful. We know that. And then, um, so we're going to record the show, and if it comes out well, we'll we'll put that on the website, and we will sell it for a five. Ah, oh. I hope you're cool with that. Um, and we're thinking of doing like a sale on the website, but we don't know whether to do it before Christmas or New Year. Um, uh, maybe New Year. 
Maybe New Year. It's when traditionally you have the sales, isn't it? Well, because I saw Keith and, and Hemda's um, Black Friday. Um, so I bought I bought Hemda's Funny Phone Calls for one pound ninety six. What's that? <laughs> One pound ninety six. Have you listened to Keith's book yet? I haven't, right? Because it's too big to download on my phone. I want to put it on my phone. Um, I, but it, it's it's like hours. Yeah. I got the first five chapters. I was trying to put the first five chapters into one thing. I could, but it's too big, and it was about four hours. So, and then I, I downloaded it on my phone last night during the show, and it wouldn't stop playing. It got very. <laughs> the man's got stories, right? Yes, man. You know, like he smoked crack on a train. Uh, he uh, went to jail for bouncing checks when he was a kid. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. He had a dad who wouldn't let him laugh in front of the cat. But I don't know how to download it. I don't really know how to get it on my phone because it's so big. I've got to do it a chapter at a time, I suppose. Yeah. And I tried to compress it. Hey, you all know this. Is there a way of compressing a really huge audio file? I mean, it's something like... Um, where did I put it? It's in... Oh, Lorna's calling in. We'll look at that in a minute. Good morning, Lorna. Hey, Lorna. Morning, Ian. Um, I just wanted to say that you can have three tickets to give away because nobody has uh, asked for mine, so I'll just send like that back into the um, pot. So, so that's another two tickets. tickets. Well, that I'm, I'm sorry no one can come. I'm sorry you're unable to come. Um, but that's very, very kind of you. How are you, how okay. are you, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. The reason I can't come in is because I actually got a job. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's us feeling sorry for you. You're living the dream, That's Lorna. A, that is brilliant, Lorna. That's really good news. Have you have you started it? Yeah, yeah. It's only on the weekend, on a Saturday and Sunday morning. I hope it's not a telephone started. operator. <laughs> it's a little. You're a little bit muffled. Are you speaking into the phone? I am speaking into the phone. Yeah. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> so it's a weekend job. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, sorry, did you say it has started yet? Yeah, it has started yet. How are you, how are you finding it? Um, I was really tiring the first couple of weeks, <laughs> but um, how long? Can I ask you? Can I ask how long have you not been working? Um, well, I've been doing sporadic working. Yeah. Um, oh, you'll be exam marking and that, but um, obviously not the past couple of years. Uh, but I got my redundancy in twenty eight, twenty sixteen. Oh, wow. so five years. And I know exactly. I was going to say that when you've not worked even for a few months, but years, and you go back, my God, those first few days, first week or so, it is exhausting. It's like when you send the kids back to school after the six week holidays, come back knackered. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh Lorna, that's brilliant news. What a great reason to not be able to come. And so, did you say it's two tickets? No, just I only got one. One ticket. Know. Okay, yeah. well, that is very, very kind of you, Lorna. We, we, I, I guess we'll do something on Twitter over the next couple of days. And, um, well, that's brilliant news. Congratulations. Yeah, so good. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, Lorna. You. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. That's a great reason for not coming. Not like these pussies who are scared because of, oh, might catch the COVID. Jesus. That's great. My voice is going. Do you want a <clears throat> soother? No, I want to lock it. I don't got lockets. It's not 1982. Magic locket. Um, that's brilliant news. What were, I think we missed. Anna Live resubbed. Thanks. Ginger Pura gifted a sub to Philip Prowley. Thank you. You only just started following our channel. Follow. This is this is this is great. Followed the channel ten minutes ago. Two minutes later, gifting out subs. Thank you. Thank you. That's really kind. Have we had any more Patreons? Um. And Alive has sent a message. Here we go. What's it say? What's it say? I wish to cancel. Uh, uh, thank you. What? She's, she's just saying, I'm, I'm sticking with you guys. Thank you. I'm sticking. Thank you, Anna Alive. Thank you. What were we talking about before Lorna's excellent, mm. excellent call? What were we talking about? The Jamboree. We got past the Jamboree. Anyone remember what? Oh, then uh, conspiracy theories. Oh, and then the Jizz Cups. I thought I, had, I thought I had a, a thing. Oh, the audio file. Thank you, Ming. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. The audio file and the size of the file. So it's my Samson. It's in my external hard drive. Um, it's here. What did? What is it called? Is it called Keith Malley? H-O-J-K? No. Uh, great American novel under LBC there. The Great American novel. So it is... It's so it's in MP3s. Sweet and it's, Lord, it's, one, two, it's nine chapters, 
and each chapter is let's say it's an average of thirty thousand kilobytes each chapter. It's an average, right? Um, so I want it in a format where I can get it on my phone, even if it's in like four chunks. Um, let's have let's have a little listen to it. Let's just go into let's go let's get the introduction. This is Keith Malley's book, right? Where's my snare? I have no snare in my headphones. There you go. Yeah. This is the opening to the book. Yeah. Yo. Yo, the great American novel. <laughs> the great American novel. By this guy, me, Keith Malley. I did that. All rates reserved, etc., etc. Don't be a douche. Preamble. <laughs> Letter to the editors. Can I get a refund? <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you would. It's completely yeah. Keith. Each chapter is 30 megabytes. I mean, that's an insane. That is insane. I mean, like an hour long, but that's insane. A kilobytes. 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 Um, kilobytes. Cop Bongo says he's halfway through Bob Mortimer's autobiography and auto uh, audio book at the moment. Unsurprisingly, it's an absolute delight. Same. Same. Kilobytes. Presumably you can use Audacity. I can, but Audacity doesn't shrink it down that much. It doesn't really have... I tried that. It doesn't really shrink it down as much as I would like it to shrink it down. I miss I miss the old day. Could I get... Could I put that on... Oh, this is going to... Listen to old man here. Say it. Can I put it on my iPod? Yeah. Andy Kane, you don't get to me on my pants. Do I... Can I put it in my iPod? Can I plug my iPod into a PC and and put it on. Yeah. But then my iPod isn't Bluetooth. It's got to be on my phone. It's got to... 30,000 kilobytes is 30 megabytes. That's tiny. It's not tiny enough to go on my phone. It's not tiny enough to go on my phone. It's too big to go on my phone. I tried it. And then it, it kind of... That's equivalent to five to ten songs. Are you nuts? It wouldn't send us an email. Each chapter is thirty is approximately thirty thousand kilobytes. One of them's forty eight and a half. And it will it won't even send on my email because it's too big. I will put this was put this in the cloud. Put your iPhone photos on the cloud. They are. You you can, but it won't save your place if you're MP3. Put your phone in and drag and drop it. You can't plug a phone into a computer. Are you nuts? What stories does your phone have? Please stop bullying me. While you open this um, Why are they bullying Pandora's me? box. Um, too big as email, but not too big for your phone. Well, I, okay, so I emailed it right to me. Ah. Whoa, Mark, we got a new patron. Yeah, yeah, Ring the yeah. bell. Mark, you're so welcome to the show. Welcome to the Psycho Circus. Have you heard that song by Kiss? Psycho yes, I Circus. Have. Yes. Welcome to the Psycho Circus, and you're welcome to the show. It really is mayhem. That. They did a concert. In, they did a tour in 3D. Um, uh, welcome to the Psycho Circus, and you're welcome to the show. Okay, what I will do. Where are we? Is that wow, Dave Dogface is really going in on you. What's his How problem? small is the memory on your phone, tiny phone boy? Get stuff, Dave. Uh, put it in Dropbox and download it to your phone that way. But it won't... He makes a good point, actually. It'll just use a cable. He makes a good point. 30 millibytes is, ti mill millibytes is tiny. I'm not sure if we'll be... You've just been meatballed. You've just been meatballed. Well... No, you have. I'm not be meatballing you, I promise. You have been meatballed. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> It would not go on my phone. I heard you do get da, do meatballed da. last night. I did get meatballed last night, yeah. I got By me. of all people, Jimbo. Jimbo. Who'd have thought 30 so millibytes is, is tiny. Shut up, everybody. So you reckon put it in a in a drop box. You talk to them because I'm, I'm, they're pissed Are me off. Are you going to do it now? Yeah, I am. They've really annoyed me. Wow. And so the repercussions, again, they suffer. fall to me. They suffer. Fall. What? They suffer what? as a direct because... result because they get you now on your own. <laughs> They don't suffer. That was me being disrespectful. Again. Well, now, now I'm being respectful. I'm doing what I'm supposed to say. Yes, but you're retracting the disrespect and trying to turn it into respect. So, guys, it's going to be a lot of fun today. And um, we're going to be doing some things and some stuff. And we're going to be um, doing some uh, makeup I tutorials. I just dragged what? it into my Google Drive. Well, you wouldn't let me talk to you. And it doesn't. It has not appeared in there. You see? I've just dragged dragged it in there. And it has not 
Oh, this that it's uploaded. It's uploaded. What? Hang on. Oh, he's done it. No previews available. Download. You can only download it. So you upload it to Google Drive and then you have to download it. Is that what you're saying? This is the best stream. Uh, this is the best stream I've ever done in my life. You're in the psycho circle. I feel nauseous, I feel like actually. I am, yeah. I feel quite nauseous. Why? I don't know, actually. I've got to see a client today. I hope I don't throw up in front of them. I think that's probably frowned upon, isn't it? I just threw up in front of you and I, I, I wondered how that felt to you. <laughs> I'm sorry about the splash on your suede shoes. I think I've got my case study person. Oh. I think I've got my case study. I just need to read how to do a case. Right, okay, it says this file is unsupported. Fuck, crying out loud. Well, why don't you work on that later? I'm going to do it now, actually. Of course you are. I'm going to create a new folder. Just for anyone who's not familiar with this stream and you just think he's being... He has got ADHD. And that's what we did. That's what's being demonstrated here now. I'm in hyper focus now, and you cannot control it me. Totally is, and so this has to be done now. Um, as you recognise, there are people out there who recognise this completely. Some of you, it just um, it looks like someone um, really desperate to hear from Keith Malley. <laughs> I've been listening to Keith and the Girl again recently. It's a brilliant podcast. Keith and Kendo have been podcasting since before there was a word for it. So, you know, um, if you've ever been that person at a family dinner who has to explain to a load of people who haven't got a clue what you do, what you do, spare a thought for Keith and Kemda because they were doing that long before most of us. Um, I don't think it's worked. They have been doing it for ages and they're fantastic. They are unfiltered. They generally interview comics, but not always. They had us on twice. Some, I know. And sometimes um, my favourite ones are where they're just um, chatting with each other. They used to go out together. They don't anymore. Uh, they've both been married to other people in the interim and are with different people from those people now. So there's been a lot of water under the bridge. And it's just, it's just great. It's just like listening to a couple of... Um, Crazy New York. Um, how would I describe them? Kemda is a bit more thoughtful, but also has her moments. Keith is just... Uh, oh, he's an a-hole. I, I love him. He's got five... Was it five or four emotions that he's counted recently? Hungry, horny, angry, and sad, I think, the four. Um, but he's really expanded because before he was just either hungry or horny. So this is a man who's fully exploring his manliness. Um, and it's been a hell of a ride. All right, so I've uploaded two chapters to my drive because so that's Keith and the girl. I don't want to waste everyone's time here. So now I go to so it's on Drive. So now I go to Drive Google Drive on my phone. This is this is great. Now I've okay, and then I open that. Nope. Then here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So if I play this, it doesn't work. A playback error has occurred. Oh, right, you see that? Yeah, so it doesn't work. That's what it says. Hey, Ginger Puro, Ian and Catherine, delighted to see you live in the morning. I'm in Singapore. Hey, so time zones never work out. Meatballs and MBs. Don't know. Didn't know what I'm missing. You, you're missing a lot. So it doesn't work. So everyone's a dickhead. But AJ Emerald, Emerald Dial says that's probably because it's still loading. Do you not uh, need to? It? No, it says it's uploaded. What it does is it said it's uploaded, um, but it's, there's nothing in this file. Huh. It says it's uploaded. The file contains no data, but yet. Where's my snare? It there does. Is. Oh, can, I need to clip that. <laughs> Where's my snare? <laughs> Just clip that. Do you know what I really love about Keith? He's, he's not actually from New York. He's from um, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, 69, 5623. You know that song? Yes. That's a great song, right? It's not, that's not quite the numbers, but I know. Pennsylvania, 69, 561. Um, Where's my snare? The address of the White House. You know that, right? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. You know Frank Sidebottom did a version, Tim Pauline, 969, 1909. <laughs> and it was his phone actual number. phone number. Tim Pauline, 969, 1909. <laughs> it's a great... <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant, right? Yeah. That is oh, brilliant. dear old Frank. I miss Chris so much. My boys would have loved to have met that I have guy. no snare in my... But um, Keith Malley can't say toilet. He says toilet. I had fun. There you go. Pe I went to the toilet. Keith Malley can't say a lot of things. <laughs> this should record. Um... No, yeah, it's from near yeah. Pittsburgh. That's Pennsylvania, Yo. right? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Hang on. He Where's my snare? Stingers. I have no snare in my head. There you go. Yeah. Yo. Yo. There we go. We've got, we've got some good clips there. Um, so every, what everyone said, 
about transferring that book over. Incorrect data. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> but so, um, we have got some lovely little new clips of Keith um, out of it. So it's not all lose. So I, I really uh, file, export, MP3, Mally Snare. Don't tell him I'm using him for this. He probably ch he said that book is copyrighted, so he'll probably he'll probably chase you for some money. Cock Bongo says, "Does he say water instead of water?" All Mary yeah. East Town like yo him. yo. Yeah, he does. My sister used to live in America, and she ended up saying water because whenever she would uh, ask for water in water, a restaurant, she would get a waffle. Water, water. Yeah, yo yo. Water 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 uh, water. Water. Um, water. Trust me, this is going to be worth it. Uh, so yeah, everybody said just transfer it over there. It doesn't work, which is disappointing because I don't want to listen to it on my computer. That would be dumb. Um, export Mali. Yeah, yo. Yeah. There we go. We got it. Play it. Yeah, yo, yo. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what a douche. What a douche. Um, okay. So what? What? What's the show? What are we doing? Is anyone calling in? You could call in and stop this at any point. <laughs> but you choose not that to. That you wanted to. This is all your fault, everybody. It is all your fault. How many more patrons have we got to, since then? Let's have a little look. Let's check. We must have got loads based on this material. No, <laughs> no not one. You pieces, you goddamn, you goddamn pieces of trash. Let me just send this, and then we are tickety boo. I've just had an email from you know I got my car serviced, and then famously oh, it yeah. had to had basically be um, stripped down and <laughs> rebuilt, right? So it went in twice in the space of two weeks, right? So yeah. one week it went in for the service, and then I had to take it in the following week to be. So I've got the invoice for the first service. No, I've got the invoice for the second thing, right. but the first thing I paid online, they can't find the invoice. Oh, so fudge off! I asked for it. And they sent me one from 2019. Oh, Jesus, man. Did you actually pay it? Yeah, I paid it. Okay. okay. Although I've got no... Ev. Ev. I actually gave her the date of it. Why is she sending me the same thing again? 26th of the 11th. I want the 8th. I want the 22nd or the 19th. Man. Anyway, so you're um, watching Catch Up on the Admin with Catherine and Ian. Yeah, this is fun. You can call in and, and stop this at any moment of your lives. It really is that simple. 0203 286 6370 is the telephone Boom, number. It. You got it? Yeah. Well, so that whole thing was disrespectful to um, working class people. Well, it's taken five days to get it, so no. Okay. Well. And also, she's got a job. I don't. I've got nothing but time. Yeah. So I want to get my admin straight. That's Thanks, true. Thanks, Melanie. You're brilliant. I'm going to make true. her day now. Thanks, Melanie. You're not the big dick that I thought you were. Um, love. Can I put love? Love. Catherine. You know, that one. The one that keeps asking for paperwork you don't want to send. I can't find my audio send. clips. Right, 0203 286 6370. We're going to do that later on. That is disrespecting everybody in the house. We need oh, more patrons. You know what they're doing while we're talking? Uh, flashlights. Yeah. Um, Cherie, Cherie Peapot says, I'd love to call him. I have a one to one with my boss. I'm currently throwing together the work I should have done last week. Well done. Naughty, naughty. Uh, Crayfish, welcome to the show. Uh, Crazy uh, uh, RIP. I use MP3 to iPod, a 2009 program to convert an audiobook format, then use iTunes to put on my phone. Phone. Uh, oh, convert it. To, oh, I've got an. I've got a thing that might convert it to an audiobook. All right, we'll have a look at that. I've got a thing that might convert it to an audiobook. Um, uh, Andy says, "I genuinely believe the reason you and Chris Seavey never hit megastar is because we need you. Fate made sure you were with the, with the ones who love you most. Come on, I want to be rich. I could have been rich. I could have been. I could have been a Dermot. I would. I would prefer that than to be hanging out with you guys. I was listening to a breakfast show this morning on a music station. Um, was it Capital? No. Was it Heart? No. Was it Three Counties? No. Was it Absolute? No. Was it Virgin? No. Isn't Radio Two? No. There's no other music stations. Uh, was it Greatest Magic. Hit? Magic. <laughs> oh, Magic. Yeah. Magic. And it just goes to show that. Um, 
When Just because you can knock out the odd pop song doesn't mean that you're. Um... Anyway, so who hosts Magic then? Ronan Keating and um, what's her name? Wabe. Is it um, Emma B? No, but it's someone like that who's actually quite good. But I just thought you throw people together and expect them to get on, and it doesn't really always work that. that it does it? Just doesn't work like that. Dave Harriet, Dogface, thank Harriet, you. That's right. Dave Dogface, thank you for the sub and Sketty Meatball. Thank you for gifting the sub. And now we go over live. It, it looks like I recognise that fence. Are you in Chesington? Yes, I'm walking in. Show us where you are. Show us where you are. I know this place like the back of my hand now. I don't actually. I still get lost there, but the boys know it. Is that the uh, zoo on the right? No, that's the aquarium. Yeah. There we go. Dang. Donuts indeed for the aquarium. That weather's... Is it, are you open today? No, we're closed. The boys are concerned when we come on December the 16th. They're concerned that we don't have fast tracks. Should I get fast tracks? No, you won't need them. Okay. All right, fine. This is great. What was great last time we went, we did get fast tracks. But then at the end of the day, because some of the quite a few of the rides were closed, even though yeah. we'd used the fast tracks, got a refund for the fast tracks. That's the best kind of fast track because we caned it. Although we did find out that quite often we were queuing in the disabled queue instead of oh, the fast track queue. Oh, well, you, well, you should have been. That is, well, no, it's the signage's fault. What a beautiful day. Good morning to the penguins. Hello, penguins. Can you pick them up? Smile and wave, boy. Smile and wave. Literally. I bet they loved it when it was snowing, right? Oh, we didn't have any. Oh. But also, they might not like it because they won't remember it. What do you mean? Yeah. They will. It's the collective consciousness. You reckon? Yeah, the collective consciousness. It's in their, it's in their DNA. DNA that they yeah. love the snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. That's, um, um, who, was the, who was the collective consciousness guy? Jung. Carl Jung from Crosby, Stills, Nash and Jung. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, you weren't expecting Jungian theory this morning. Yeah, were collective you guys? consciousness. It's it's within them. They they they. It's there whether they know it or not. Um, this is the pig shit. The pig shit. Yeah, the boys up the pig shit. Oh, she did actually say pig shit. Yeah, my boys got to work in that farm, um, and this was shortly before one was mauled by a rhino. <laughs> did they get to work in the restaurant as well, like mop, mopping up and that? <laughs> um, they're very very excited about coming in December. They know we've got a few surprises lined up for them. We've got that. We've got um, a Santa's Grotto near me, which is brilliant. Donuts. Donuts indeed. Thank you, Tony. We're going to come to those in a minute. We've got um, ice skating with Dolly Parton. That's not a joke. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know that they're going to a pantomime on the same day. Oh, nice. As Santa's Grotto. Yeah. Donuts. To that. Yeah, it is exciting. Love it. Absolutely love it. Th Tony, thank you for those gifted subs. Thank you. Thanks for your leaving. Thank you. And Mandy, you gifted a, a sub as well. Thank you very much. It's all appreciated. Uh, don't forget, though, the best uh, pound to pocket ratio. If you're going to buy a sub for three ninety nine, I would suggest donate to us at three ninety nine because we get all of that. The subs, we get half of it. But thank you for those subs. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank very you. Very kind. Um, God, look at it empty. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? Oh, isn't it beautiful? That's the the kind of square where the um, not Ghostbusters. What were they? What were they called? Spooky hunters. Uh, curse catchers. Curse catchers. That's what. But they have backpacks and jumpsuits. Good. Thank God for that. <laughs> um, all right, Amy. Well, thank you for that lovely uh, insight into Chesington. We, I love it there. Thanks for joining me on my walk to the office. <laughs> <laughs> See you later on. Bye. Bye. Ta ra, ta ra. Um, it is a great place. I used to work in a safari park, and I had to drive past the rhinos to get into work. It's funny how quickly you can get used to that. <laughs> The what, sorry? The... Rhinos. I used to oh, drive past the rhinos yeah, to get yeah, into work. Yeah. And one time I was put out in an ice cream kiosk and they completely forgot about me all day long until my mum came to pick me up and they had to go and retrieve me. And I was through like like the lions and that. We've got an email. Is it a new sub? No, it's not. Um, Hippo says, how do you tell people you don't want to fill their emergency chair on Christmas Day? Just because I'm on my own, they won't accept no for an answer. I'm finding it also suffocating. The thought of it is sending me into a meltdown. They mean well, but they are doing it for their own reasons if they will not accept no for an answer. They are doing it for their own reasons. Um, they have to accept no for an answer. Yeah. They have to. They have to. And you, 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 I mean, it's difficult to be firm. I don't know how firm you're being, but they have to accept it. It sounds as if you've put up, uh, you've already told them no. I'm wondering whether now is the time to write them a letter Tim. that they can't come back on. <laughs> write them a letter, whack it through, and that's the end of the story. Day before, 
tell them you've got COVID. Oh, there's the alternative, yeah. And syphilis. Tell them you've got COVID and, and syphilis. syphilis. And they... What do you think they had planned? Well, they will... Syphilis, you can catch it from um, touching by the hand. Um, so, touching the penis by the hand and then licking it. <laughs> uh, tell you them about that. the guy who investigated syphilis by taking some uh, STDs, by taking some pus from... A spunk cup. No, direct from the source oh, and Jesus. putting it on his own. And strangely enough, he caught all, all kinds. Oh, my God. Yeah, but he saw it as a success. Why would he do that? Um, science. Weird science. Science. Weird science. He, had, he wanted to show that he couldn't... I think he died of something and syphilis, but he said, see, it's not just syphilis. <laughs> It was something like that. Look him up if you want accurate information. But I just remember the the experiment. Strangely enough, and, experiment um, was filthy. When he when he got it, he went, "Yeah, yo, yo, <laughs> what a dickhead! You're doing it now. Yeah, yo, yo, you're doing it now. Yeah, yo, yo, you're doing it now. Yeah, yo, yo, you're doing it now. Yeah, <laughs> yo, yo." I've downloaded Mally Sne- uh, um I've got that incorrect. Uh, that is incorrect data. That is not... Here we go. Go on. John Hunter sacrificed his own penis to figure out whether syphilis it's and gonorrhea were the same. It's sacrifice. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, click, got right, so this guy, it's not recent. It's not recent, like. It's no sacrifice. Although people are apparently having baths in um, quite uh, dodgy chemicals to try and get rid of the vaccine these days. Have you heard that one? You got oh Jesus! I, I just hate humanity. In it, though. I hate the human race. In it though, really disgusts me. And still we can yeah. we can yo yeah. Let's laugh about this tragic yeah. tale from the 19th century. So, Where's my snare? Sorry, I'm there now. Sorry, Here I know you hate. I know you hate me. John Hunter, but who? You hate me. Me? Yeah, you do. I don't feel that it. strongly about you, mate. Oh wow! I'm your business partner. <laughs> I'm your business partner. Tol- I'm like tolerate you. the um, I'm like the right. You're the guy that drives around the um, car parks, and I'm the guy sitting there smoking, counting money, and wishing you wouldn't drive around the car parks. Maybe it's the other way around, actually. But I'm the one that ends up in prison, right? I hope so. God, what's what's going on with you? I think that actually you're projecting. I um, I don't think you know what projection means. <laughs> I think you're projecting your feelings onto me. I feel nauseous today. That's what it is. I, I, come on, we need more patrons. Someone sign up to Patreon. In 1767, a patient presented to Hunter with what to most eyes looked like a yellow penile pus. But to Hunter looked like an awful lot, like an opportunity. He took some of it and put it into two puncture wounds he created. Oh, my God. His notes show that within a couple of days, he began to experience pain, redness and itchiness Holy. before going on to develop other classic and uncomfortable symptoms of gonorrhea. Dutty. Later, to his absolute delight, he went on to develop symptoms of syphilis. As you can imagine, he was ecstatic because he believed he'd proved that the two forms of pox were actually the same disease. Well, that, well, well I mean, some uh, people can see success in every I get that, actually. Opportunity. He's... he's He's done. He's he's had a theory. He's taken two for the team. Two for the team, and he's he's done it. He's done his best, and um, no, I respect that. In I respect reality, that stupidity. The reason why he developed both forms of pox was the patient whose sample he'd taken had both. Ah, <laughs> uh, you see, uh, yeah. Just be careful. Just be careful with your um, experiments, doctors out there. Where's my snare? <laughs> Dropped off, mate. <laughs> Dropped off, buddy. That's what happened to it. These are wow. these are the best clips ever. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Where's my snare? The other week, I was just announced by, and uh, so to speak, I got the horn. Yeah. Yo. Yo. You're doing it now. <laughs> Everyone should have a soundboard because it is the. It's just the most fun. Craig's a request. We're getting requests in the chat now for an O'Brien. Um. Oh, I can't remember where. I, where have I put? Um. Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh, here, we go, here we go, here we go. The other week, I was just announced by, and uh, so to speak, I got the horn. Oh, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. Isn't it, though? That's, this, is, this, is where the, where the, this is where the juice is. This is where the genius is. All right, lie. Stan wants a big bottle of pills and no top on, please. Um, you, well, okay, 
You can have it for a, if you make a donation of a quid. <laughs> make a donation of a quid or above, and you can get it. Now we're not doing it for free now. Um, mine aren't on my stream deck. Mine are on my my soundboard on my lap. I could do it on the stream deck, couldn't I? I prefer the stream deck was a bit hit and miss, wasn't it? You, it is. I think it seems to be all right now. I'm not quite sure what, what was going on. No, we're not on relying there. on it so much. Um, how do you get a soundboard? What do you use it for? Well, mine is this old um, thing on on here, right? But you can't get this program anymore. It was about thirty quid. The BBC paid for it because they changed the studios and I kicked off. Um, you can't get this anymore. So this, I've got, I've got a new laptop. This this laptop is 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 junked, right? I've had to take the bottom off to get it. So this one is junked, and I thought, well, I'll get, I'll get a new one. I mean, it's it's the same model. It was a 2013 model. I got it for a couple of hundred quid. But you can't get this. This wouldn't transfer over to my thing. It said, oh, this, this is incompatible. So that's that. Um, I could do it on a stream deck, but then you're stuck with uh, 15, 15 on a page. And I've got, you know, I can have uh, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four times eight is 46. Um, is it? 32, isn't it? I don't know. I was joking. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 20. Yeah, 46. Um, <clears throat> so um, uh, so that's, be that's better for me. I'm a professional. You can get other soundboards, and I tried some, but I just didn't. I didn't like them. They didn't. They as, as user friendly as this because I can. I can edit them within the sound. I can do all kinds of things. I can do all kinds of magic. Things. Basically, you can do. Syphilis man also did weird tasting experiments with his semen, says Katya. I think Hors of Yore or James Felton tweeted about this. I think they both did. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I can do pages and folders now on Stream Deck. Oh, I know how to do folders. I don't know what pages are, but folders. Boasting about Stream Deck. Fold, I've got folders. You put a folder and you click on that, and then you've got another 15 things. I don't know how to do folders. I like having it big and wide. <laughs> oh, 0203 286 6370. Come on, guys. Um, we're not talking until we get one more Patreon. We're not talking until we get one more Patreon. Let's get the link in the chat. We're going silent. We're going silent. Oh, no. Right, they're still watching. <laughs> Put more, more num behind numbers. Interesting. One person needs to sign up for any tier. Maybe we should turn the camera off. One Patreon and you get pictures back. You can make this all stop. Do you want a cup of tea? I'd love a cup of tea, please. <laughs> One person has to sign up to any tier of Patreon for us to continue.
One person, if you've just joined us, and the numbers are actually going up, so <laughs> all, of that work, all of that work we've been doing for the past 18 months is pinpointed. <laughs> Turns we, out all you wanted was a bit of peace and quiet. We need one person to sign up to any tier of Patreon. Because I'll tell you why we're doing this, right? Because when we're silent and the screen is blank, that's what you will be getting if we do not get more patrons. That's what you're going to get. Nothing. Nothing. We lost 20 patrons this month. We need to kind of get a few more. We've had two new ones. So if you don't sign up, the blank screen, the silence, that's what you're going to get. Shut up, Pete. Shut up, Pete. Use that, don't Jim, because there's a different VPN code and I haven't put it in. Boom, we got one. <laughs> Boom, we got one. Boom, we got one. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Terry. You see, it's dead simple. Dead simple. Thank you, Terry, for signing up. You saved everybody. Um, and that is appreciated. So now I go to stream elements and we just add one like that. Uh huh. Bishy bashy boshy. That's all it takes. A little bit of support. Right, let's get on with the goddamn show. Uh, if you want to call in, you can. 0203. Thank you, Ride Out Films. I just sent you that file. I've sent you a small one. Maybe I didn't send you. The f anyway, thank you. Someone's going to convert the audio for me. That is appreciated. If someone can tell me how I can really, really shrink the audio, that'd be great. Thank you, everybody. We got our Patreon. We'd love to have some more. We'd love to be joined by a few more. That would be great. Oh, I've got a parcel coming from Hermes, Catherine. Um, I thought, weren't Hermes the one that were rubbish? Um, because, so Catherine had a parcel lost by Hermes, delivered to the wrong place, and was getting very little back. I tweeted them, and as a blue tick, they, they said they're going to give you the money back, right? Yeah, they asked me for my details. They haven't done it yet, but here we go. Um, and yet... But now, because I tweeted them, now loads of people are including me in their tweets saying, uh, can I get a response? Because they only respond to blue ticks. There's three, one of three criteria. Blue ticks 
um, people with over 10,000 followers, sometimes people in the media. That's how that those are the only people they respond to. Um, and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that because I'm a big star. We need our passes more than the rest of the populace. That's yeah. obvious. Thank you for that. I'm really into my tea at the moment. I might get a teapot. I've got a teapot. I love it now and again, but it's. You know, Can I have it? Oh, no, you want it. That's fine. What's a posh one? I don't want a posh one. I just want a cheap teapot. Um, well, Christmas is coming. Yeah, we're going to have a teapot. I want teapot and aftershave. That's all I want for Christmas, guys. Um, uh, and I'd also like... I've got the horn. There we go. I'm hoping that happens over Christmas. <laughs> Comes once a year. <laughs> Whee! You're doing it now. <laughs> uh, 0203. To, uh, Retro Faith, I got your email. Thank you. I am um, I will certainly contact that person. I am overwhelmed and not in any position to do anything at the moment. But thank you. 0203-286-6370 is the telephone number. Um, thank you for the person who signed up to um, the Patreon. We really need more Patreons, because, genuinely. Um, and then we'll do something fun in a minute. Let me just do this. Um, we've got 75 sub subscribers. Did we miss a few? We must have. Did we miss a few? Cock Bongo. I oh, know we Cock Bongo gifted. We, we got Amy's. Uh, Mandy's to Amy. We got Dave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So... Um, we need more patrons. We lost 20 this month. We've got three. So we really need another 17-ish. Another 14, 15 would be great. Um, but it's a kind of very slow decline. If we keep losing patrons, we will have to stop doing it. And there's no point. And I will go and get this. I'm, I've, I've been offered a, a job teaching a day a week. I don't really know how I'm going to fit it in doing this in the radio and college. But if I wasn't doing this in the radio, I could fit in two days a week. Yeah. Um, so... If you want to stop me from being a teacher, imagine me being a teacher in a college. Uh, if you want to save me from that hell, it wouldn't be hell actually. It's a really, really cool place, and and it's um, the, it's a really cool place, and the guy that runs it is great. Um, but if you want to stop that, you um, you have to sign up to the Patreon. That's genuine. That's a genuine thing, and it also pays for the radio anyway, even though it's not part of the tiers. Part of me. We'll see what happens this month with the ACAST, because ACAST give us like maybe a couple of hundred quid a month for the podcast. But part of me thinks we make the podcast uh, Patreon only, and whether maybe that all the, the Radio Anywhere podcast just go to the twenty pounders. Well, or I do what I've been doing with the other one and give them ten minutes, and then if they want to hear the rest, it's on. Part of me does think that the, the radio um, man says you'd be brilliant; they'd love you. Shut up, is what I'd be like with them. Shut up, kids. Shut, they're not kids, they're like 20 to 45 year olds. Shut up, old man. The back of the co old man in college. Sad. I've done a bit of teaching in colleges. They're all on their phones all the time. Um, this one is weird. I don't think it's like giving lectures. I think it's more like a one-to-one. -one. All right, that's something. It's, it, I think the, the, the thing of this college, if I've got it right, is they just have like an array of experts in the field. It's mainly advertising. And you kind of like book in a slot with someone for an hour or something like that. It sounds great. Hey, TNT, F-R-M-S-R-Y. Thank you. So I'm I'm thinking we... Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. I, I, I'm joking. I, I appreciate your kind words about that. I think it, I think I'd, I'm at an age where, where I'd be quite good at teaching about yeah. radio. And also having been in college. Here's the thing I've noticed. You will have noticed it here. You will have noticed it on the radio last night. When I am in groups of people, I speak a lot quieter, a lot softer. It's great because I was always, and I think it, it's an ADHD thing. It's, I'm very loud and very fast and I want to get like a big puppy. But at college now and in AA meetings, I kind of talk very slowly like that. It's great. I love it. And it's not an artifice. It's, it's genuine. I just I just was in the AA meeting the other night. I thought, oh, God, I'm speaking really quietly. Oh, God, that's what I do when I'm in groups now. There have been a lot of sort of subtle changes over the past few months, though, haven't there? There have been. Like standing up straighter. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Um, but genuine, if you want the radio anywhere to continue, we need more patrons. Because, I, we, you know, if we drop down too much, I'm going to go and get a job as a teacher. And um, then this will be over. This will be over, you know. So thank you for people that have signed up. Let's just get the Patreon link one more time and then we'll, we will battle on. Um, and if you're listening to the podcast, I suggest cutting the silence out, but you're the producer, you do what you want. Um, I think some people like, like the um, head break. Yeah. Um, illegal worker, thank you for gifting this up. I saw um, Tide Barber, <laughs> who lives with a northerner, 
wrote, you can tell there's a northerner in the house when there's more than two minutes of silence and it has to be counted with, he wants a brew. <laughs> Thank you for all your subs here as well. I, um, if you've got Amazon Prime, you know this. Link, it's the first day of the month, so there's going to be a lot of selling. It will ease down a little bit as it goes on. Friday will be a lot of selling as well. Um, uh, if you've got Amazon Prime, link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and you can subscribe to us for free and we get two quid between us. Don't sound like a lot, but look, we've got 76 um, subs in the last couple of days. So that's uh, 76 quid each. Is that how it, that's how it works out, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, which is great, which really does start to make a big difference. This is our job. And it's a little bit of money here, that little bit of ACAST money, slightly bigger chunk of Patreon money. Um, if if you have si subbed here with Amazon Prime, it doesn't auto-renew. So you might just want to go and have a little look. You might think that you're subbed, but maybe it's run out. So just go and have a little look. And if it has run out, just click on it again. Um, and if you're thinking of subbing by cash, it's three ninety nine, right? But we only get two quid of that. The other one ninety nine goes to Twitch, right? A multi billion pound company, right? So if you got the three ninety nine, you think, oh, the, it's easy, it's better for us if you donate it because we get. All of it then, pretty much all of it. Maybe a couple of pennies go to Patreon, uh, uh, to um, PayPal. But we get all of it. So the best way, it, 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 I mean, if you want to buy and pay for um, subs, that's absolutely great. But if you want to get the most amount of money to us, then um, the donate is the thing. And the we're just going to put the link in the chat, exclamation point, donate. Uh, it's streamelements.com slash tlna slash tip and if you're listening on the podcast stream elements.com slash tlna slash tip one final thing if you're on your pc if you scroll down i think there's a picture of a cat if you click on that that will take you to the donate and donations are instantaneous we don't get the sub money it takes a month for that to come through donations we get just like that so thank you thank you thank you and thank you a legal worker for gifting a tier one sub we got um thank you i'm in it's 11 11 the magic time what we're gonna do I'm kind of feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm airport. Okay. Do you fancy an airport? Yeah, I just what, uh, yeah. What What was that? What? Because there, there was a long pause. I didn't know whether you were planning to make a revelation or whether you were, you were deciding on airport. You know that um, thing of Winona Ryder and all the, the maths is coming out of her head. That's what was happening to me. Yeah, there. I could see it. Winona's the correct pronunciation. It's a place, isn't it? Winona, the whiskey owns her. There's here's a great story. She's a she's a, a, a mysterious figure, isn't she? Winona. She's an incredible actress. I actor. really want to know more about her. Yeah. I'll, uh, that audio book, I'll be in. Because everyone that. thinks about the shoplifting, and you just think, gosh, what, what was, was going, going on? on? What was going on there? Here's an interesting. You want an interesting story about Winona Ryder? Always. So you know the monkeys got back together in 1986. Three of them. Nesmith didn't join for whatever reason. He hated David Jones. Oh, I'll show you a clip in a minute. Um, really sad clip. Um, but he he went to watch a monkey's concert in disguise. And he took went, like a 14-year-old Winona Ryder with him because he, she was in a film that he was producing. It wasn't tape heads. I don't know what it was. Oh, maybe it was Repo Man. Anyway, he, he took he went in disguise and took 14-year-old Winona Ryder to a monkey's concert in 1986. Wow. That's great, right? Yeah. Um can I show you a clip that's really sad, if I can find it? I was thinking about this the other day. Um, this is from a few years ago. Um, Nesmith, Australian. Incident. By the way, last night when you were doing the adverts, you made me, oh. I nearly woke the whole house up. I certainly gave the kittens a start. <laughs> Go on, I, I've made myself <laughs> laugh at that. So it had been quite a kind of subdued. I mean, you'd been, you know, adhering to the um, late night He's radio. You'd been in bed tone you know talking like this and everything and all of a sudden he starts doing the adverts and he did one for Poseidon Safe he did one for Poseidon Safe and I'm you know I'm listening and it's dark and it's quiet and you know it's it's soothing and I'm enjoying it I really enjoy that phoning um I've forgotten how much I miss that kind of radio anyway so you start doing the advert and it's like Poseidon Safe just so you know it was I'm paraphrasing if you're a wrong and you're in Devon and Cornwall you're fucked <laughs> Why would you? Came not, out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Why would you not want to advertise <laughs> with me? That it did come out of nowhere because that made me laugh. <laughs> that made me laugh a lot. Um, that made me laugh a lot doing that. Um, here we go. 
Simon's done it. So instead of um, buying a sub, Simon's given us the three ninety nine. We get all of that. I'd only have spent it on food and rent. Keep on keeping on. It's the best way of doing it. Um, uh, so thank you. It's it's broken. Says I app to a ten pound tip tier during the silence as a Christmas tip, like what we used to do. I planned to anyway, but did it because of the job that the watchback of Blackpool P Pleasure Beach has brought me. I'll most likely never ring in. But in a difficult year, it's been nice knowing that I could. Ah, this is great. If the future takes you both on a different path, then you deserve the best only. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, all right. Okay, thank you for that. Let me show you this clip. So this is Nesmith and me? Dolenz doing an interview. I think it's in Australia. Right. And so at this stage, David Jones is dead and Peter Talk is dead. Right. Peter Talk has just died, I think. Right, and Nesmith is a fascinating man. I, I think there's going to be some interesting stories come out when he dies. Um, let's just let's, let's see this advert here. Um, and everyone thinks, oh, the monkeys they get on and they have fun and they, you know they're crazy guys and they live together and and um, they all get on. You're going to see something remarkable here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> It's a quite long interview, so I've got to find out where it is. Want to hear. Now, by now, people just know that we're going we're gonna to do, we're gonna do it. We're going to play so they, don't, they don't have to worry about it. I'm a believer, daydream believer, or Clarksville. Here we go. I think it's here. <laughs> there are now only two Here we go. Here we go. Watch Nesmith. Seven years ago, the world lost Davy Jones. And in February of this year... I still can't believe that Davy Jones is dead. That's an, uh, he's someone so full of energy. I mean, it's a bit of an a-hole so, so sometimes, but so anyway. Peter Talk passed away following a battle with cancer. And the grief is still real for Mickey and Mike. Because we were brothers. We are. We're as close as you could. As he said, this is where I felt Nez overstepped a mark. Uh, it's interesting. I thought it was very brave of him. I thought it was very brave of him and, and human, but. Possibly get to being siblings. Here's, so here's my two cents. I never liked Peter. He never liked me. So we had an uneasy truce between the two of us. He was, a, he, as dear as I can tell, among his peers, he was very well liked. I know, I know many liked him, but we we barely had a civil word to say to each other. Hey, Pete. Hey, man, hey, Nez, and that was it. But I was sitting there when my assistant Melody got the call. Peter died. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now, and I broke into tears. So do you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm sorry. You know, it's like like siblings. Are two siblings. And that's I something. Well, need I, I say more? Need I say more? Look. Whether you grew up. And that's something. I thought it was honest. You know, maybe I thought it was honest, and I thought it was human. And the fact that those tears for me, there's some kind of I don't know regret. There's 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 some kind of but and and he didn't. They didn't get on. You know, and no, but it's still a huge part of each other's lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up with the monkey. In a few years, we ain't going to have any monkeys, we ain't going to have any Beach Boys, we ain't going to have any Beatles, we ain't going to have any Kinks, we ain't going to have any Who. But we will have BTS. <laughs> BTS are really good. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. We all know what that means. Yeah, I know what you mean. Izzy, Izzy says, I appreciate Nizzy's honesty. He kind of broke my heart when he cried. Yeah. Here's, here's the thing that I... Um, some people were really pissed off that the last, the last Monkeys concert ever was going to be at the Greek Theatre, but actually they're going to do a couple of other ones afterwards. And people are like, that's outrageous. I booked the last one. Um, they should have stopped there. And, or, and people are saying, but they don't, why are they not coming to my town? Why, the, the, nearest, <laughs> the nearest thing is three hours drive away. They should be coming to Illinois or whatever. And I, I posted a couple of times. I think they don't, they don't owe us anything. They've gone on, you know, as I said the other day, the monkeys were a joke, man. They were a joke. They should have disappeared in 1969. And that sh people go, do you remember the monkeys? They, was, they were weird, weren't they? They don't owe us anything. They've given us so much. But it's never going to be enough. Never going to, you know, when I went to New York to see them and Nez had a heart attack, it was disappointing because I'd spent a lot of money and I was looking forward to it. But Man's had a heart attack. You know, and some people were pissed off that that tour got cancelled or postponed and stuff. They don't owe us anything, man. The worst one I ever saw, Mickey Rooney brought to Milton Keynes for a pantomime, right? Oh, yeah, You could yeah, virtually yeah. see the hands pushing him on the stage. <laughs> he sat down the whole time. He wasn't with it. And you just think, all right, all right, enough's enough, you know? You don't want him to go on like that. Like, first and foremost, they're human beings. They've got people around them, hopefully, that love them and care about them more than just for what they provide monetarily. And surely at some point, you've got enough money. Um, 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mickey Rooney. But then... You could... It was that and you... Come on. Um, so I've got... It just wasn't there. I have to reach out to someone on Skype. I've got... Um, uh, Dick Larson is coming on. Oh, I was reading a book the other night. There was someone in it called Dick Bush. Come on now. There's a... Isn't there a driver called Dick Trickle? Not even joke. You know, if you've got a surname like Trickle, just have a think before you name your children. Gemma says... Gemma, thank you for the sub. They'll never be the Partridge family. Thank Christ. Although I love, you know, I love the Partridge family. Is he the entitled nature of the selfish so-called fans make me sick? It's mm. a weird one. So I've got dance a, monkey boys, dance. Yeah, exactly. So I need to just. This guy is saying, can you reach out to Dick Larson on Skype? And that just means make contact with him. Um, Dick's Dick's Skype address. Um, where is Dick's? I need to get some Dick. Where is it? I'm too old to twitch. Is um, sadly been caught in the uh, profanity net there. But look, that 70s ba- baseball star. Oh, look, Rusty, Rusty Kuntz. Kuntz. <laughs> You're onto a loser, aren't you? If your surname is that, anyway, you'd have to change it, wouldn't you? But it's like um, Randy Bumgardner. <laughs> I know it's pronounced Baum, but come on, uh, we all see it. How do I right? How do I f- um, find someone? How do I find someone new on Skype? I've forgotten how to do it. We're going to watch airline in a minute, guys. Uh-huh. Um, how do I find someone new? What is it? Settings, help, feedback. Meet now. New chat. Contact. New contact. There we go. Find. Dick Larson, seventy-seven. Invite friends. Not seeing your friend here. Uh oh. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got the numbers wrong. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh Um, Add. Okay. Can I send him a message? Send message. Hi, Hi, Dick. Dick. Looking forward to chatting on December 14th. Alistair, exactly. Finish the Beatles documentary. Might have to rewatch them because I'm missing them now. I really miss them. Um, Reswitch, first comment is find new on a what? What the fuck is this door? All right. It bleaches me out. Makes you look good and makes me look shite. Don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> let's, um, right, Kate, you can still call in. Let's go and watch an airline. I'm looking forward to an airline. We've got an, about an hour to go. You can call in at any point, but I really want to watch. We got a new Patreon! <laughs> Simon, welcome. Welcome. Simon Whitley. Simon Whitley. Simon Whitley. Simon Whitley, you are a Patreon. Is Simon Whitley going to think this is the best decision he ever made? Let's check. The Simon Magic Simon Whitley. My sources say no. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to regret lo- it. Hard luck. You're going to regret it, but there's no refunds. <laughs> no refunds hey that's not bad four new patreons this morning that's not bad and we know a few of you upped your patreon each as well we're not Thanks. including that but we know have you guys tried hosting in twitter spaces for callers a, a few people have mentioned twitter spaces to me i don't really know where are we out of focus? oh i'm looking at the wrong screen as well that isn't going to help um i don't really know what twitter spaces could we do it now could we do twitter spaces now what simultaneously um, we are we are we are simulcasting on Radio Anywhere dot live. If you want to go and listen, could we <clears throat> could we do Twitter Spaces now? If I go right, if I go into my Twitter Twitter and I bring it over here, um, loving the simulcast on Radio Anywhere, listening at work. Thank Thanks, you Daniel. very much, Daniel. Welcome, Daniel. Big up yourself, Sean. Come on, I like James, but it's not be me. Um, okay, so we got. Um, okay, so we've got Twitter open. A honk logic. It's all. It's all down to someone called Honk, honk logic. logic. How are, angry are you that Squid Game stole your color scheme? Uh with the pink and the blue, did they? I don't really remember. <clears throat> oh, I made a revelation about Squid Game, and I can't think what it was about the tracksuits. I might have dreamt it actually. Oh. Um, I was surprised the other day to find it's utmost, not utmost, not upmost. Okay. Utmost, not upmost. Yeah. That's a that's a real disappointment. It's a real disappointment. You didn't know it. I did know. Oh, honk logic! How do we do Twitter Spaces? 
Don't make me Google it, I buddy. Mean, upmost makes more sense. I get it. Utmost. Twi- it's an old-fashioned word, ain't it? Ain't it? Twitter Spaces. Why am I in dark mode? I don't know. Okay. About Twitter Spaces. Okay, how do we activate it's, it? It's a new way to have live conversations. Spaces is a new way to have live audio conversations. We've been testing and building this. How to use Spaces. Here we go. All right, we're going to do this. Um, even if it's boring. We, we, you know, Compose. The, creating the, the, the space spaces as the host. Icon. As a host on iOS, you can start a space in two ways. Long press. I don't want to do it on iOS. I want to do it on a computer. Otherwise, it, well, I haven't got Apple phone. Oh. Up to 13 people can speak in a space. Can I do it on the website? Jimbo says, I just tagged you in a cra- cracking quote tweet. I'll be the judge of that, mate. Dear Interflora to someone, Dear Finn, please DM me the order number and the billing address and the full your full and the your full name and name of recipient so I may, re- may resolve this best <coughs> scroll up okay oh, oh. god <laughs> so the interflora square the trafalgar square tree has arrived interflora clearly forgot to include the little sachet of plant feed <laughs> <laughs> please <laughs> that's very funny Jim. oh bless them uh, we're great, Barry. Thank Someone's you. Someone's put it in. Order tree. Order number. Norway. Name. <laughs> Trafalgar Square Christmas tree. That's very funny. <laughs> so, um, Cock, what was it named? Honk Logic. Can we do it on a PC? Or does it have to be on an Apple phone? People can start, people on Twitter for iOS and Android. So, we're going to be on my phone. All right, let's do it on my phone. Hang on a minute. What, what? I'm looking at the wrong map kit. Crayfish, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh! What? What? Hot like butter. Oh, yeah. Like a criminal. And, uh, do you know what, Catherine? I'm going to let you be my number one. Really? Yeah, you can be my number one. Say I'm your number one. You're my number one. Oh, thank thanks. you, Joe, my sister Joe, for this. Thanks, Joe. I haven't got one this year. Morning, Dan. The girls have got... Two, and my mum's forgotten me. Yeah, the boys have got one here each and one at home. It says it has to be on Android or iPhone, but people can listen. All right, well, I will do it on the phone in a minute. Uh, right, I'm finding hot it. like butter, like criminal undercover. Oh, mate. What we got? We're sharing. Hey! Harry, bo, 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 bo. This one glows in the dark, but I never charge it up. Yes, mate. Thank you, Dan. Listen to the radio anywhere last night. Very. It was a good show last night. It was a really good show last night. I'm yeah. starting to find my online radio voice. Yeah. And it was great. Uh, we're going to close Discord again next week and, tr- and see what happens because it was so much more... I think more than anything, it's less of a distraction for you. It really is. Oh, these are tiny. Look at this. Put them there. Oh, this is... Merry Christmas. Cheers. Um, this is great. Christmas. Um... I think I'm finding it was great. And I think if I have in my head late night phoning show 1996 when there is no social media and it's dark and everyone's on their own listening to it. So there is like it's a very solitary experience but you know there are other people doing it. I quite enjoyed being 18 stroke 19. Yeah, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. You can do it on desktop by clicking profile on web browser. I don't know what that means. What what, what do you mean profile? Oh, a profile on web browser. I don't know what that means. Profile on web browser. Then there's. Oh, mate. Um. I don't know what that means. Right, I'm getting really confused. So if I well, open it on the. What they're saying is, click on your profile. Through Twitter on your um, PC. I don't think they are saying that. Whoa! What happened? D. This is a great day to be alive. D welcome is our newest Patreon. This is going well. This is what a great day. 77 subs, 233 pa- pounds 99 pence dono, uh, five patrons. Turns out all we needed to do was a little bit of light industrial action. Yeah, we just needed to go on strike. And um 
Oh, this is great. Same this time next month, day. guys. <laughs> this is a great day. So we do less work, we get more subs. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting theory. <laughs> right, hang well, on. Well, I lived in Paris and they used to have a strike like every Thursday. We could definitely do something like that. Yeah, oh every mo- At least every month. I love I love the, the French attitude. Too. Hello, Asti. All right, so so but I don't know what you mean by clicking. Right, hang on. We'll, go- we'll Google it. Can I do Twitter spaces on my PC? If you want to use Twitter Space, you can do it as a host or a guest. If you want to start a Twitter Space, you can only do so with the mobile app. All right, Alistair. Um, very close to getting timed out there, buddy. <gasps> very close to getting timed out. Um, I like the I like the idea of a simulcast. Cause it's, I like the Radio Anywhere thing. That's, that, that's a good use of that. That's what I was saying. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, because you get slightly different. Maybe we'll put that in for the free shows. Maybe we'll put that in for the free shows. Yeah. Um, I drove home listening to Radio Anywhere last night. It was so nice to hear it through the radio, yeah. car radio. It was, did it sound proper? Yes. There we go. And also, it didn't cut out the app. Yeah, it, it can be a little bit glitchy. I've had it cut out at home, but you know my um, internet is a little bit pony. So while oh. it was cane in my data, it was very, very happy. Okay, so what? So I'm on Twitter. What do I do? Right, it, we had the thing there, Twitter spaces. So You, you can pose, and then it's a, an option. On oh, that. so I do a tweet? No, wait. So it says spaces. It was there. It was an option. All right. Spaces. Spaces are public. Counts you block won't be able to join. Yeah, good. Yes. Screw those guys. Okay. Um, but you can't do it on the laptop. Well, that's... Hello. Join us to talk. Set up a topic. Business and finance. Get lost. Let's put... Um, uh, Has it got um, rudes and swears? Oh, you've got... Um, Entertainment. I mean, loosely. Home and family. Mac 8, subscribe, tier one. Hey, buddy boy. Thank you very much. Um, Let's put music on. All right, so we're going to start our space. I don't want to invite anybody. Gemma says, glad you're doing this. I've been scared of it. We're doing it. This is what it looks like. Okay, we're doing it. Share with the tweet. Okay, we're going to tweet it. Okay, so, so now join me in my space. But you can't listen on the computer. That's annoying. Nook of the nook. My kids have got those ones because my dad insisted on injecting a little bit of Christianity into Christmas. Oh, um, can... He's single-handedly saving Christmas. And the kids love that chocolate. But they are Hello? Common, common as muck. Hello. Is there anybody there? Mike, got... off to start. You have to press join. No, no, no. My God. No, that's... Uh, hello. But I'm doing it here. All right. Maybe we can do it because it's on here. So I'm not the host of it on there. Hello. We've got off to start. You have to press join. No, no, no. My God. No, that's. Well, hang on. What's that? Oh, that's. Uh, hello. One. But I'm doing it here. All right. Maybe we right. can do it because it's, it's on it's here. It's going to work now. It's going to so work. So I'm now. not the host of it on there. It hello. Work. Hello. Can anybody well, hear Well, hang on. What's that? No, oh, stop. It's this that. This is like when my mum and dad discover right. something new. Hello. Can Can anybody hear us? Hello. So people are, so oh Michelle said a hundred percent she could Ooh, hear us. Oh hi Michelle. Okay. Is this a seance? <laughs> I think it is. Okay. Would anybody Chris Brogan's waving? Hi Chris. Daddy Bear Cub, are you reading me over? He's at the top. Let's 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 see a sign. If you can hear me, show me a sign. Is there anybody there? <laughs> right. Would anybody you can only chat on the mobile version from experience. But but that but won't they be you're showing us muted? All right. Well, I've got to do it on here then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can but then it's going to echo through there. Yeah. Hello. So you can hear us. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Can, we have to... But then it's going to echo through there. Oh, you've got subtitles as well at the bottom. Hello. So you can hear us. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Right, we have to. that. Hello. Oh, got some right. as well at the bottom. Got, right. Would anyone... Uh, what? Would anyone... I don't like know. watching Limmy do a puzzle game. Shut up. I'm going to delete that. Would anybody... Hello. That should get right. rid of the echo now. No. Nope. Right. Would anyone... Would anyone... Now Daddy Bear Cub... It's like watching Limmy do a puzzle game. Shut up. I've left. I've left. To confuse him. No, we're, no, we're going in again. What? Whoa! 
What happened? We got two new patrons. <laughs> Dell, this is this is incredible. Dell and can, AB. Can we ask you? Well, we got I, three new patrons. Ben. I'm not going to say press live because obviously they're on a delay. <laughs> it's we got on three new patrons. This is That's genuinely fab. brilliant, brilliant news. We, we are. This is great news. We're up to eight. We're up to eight. I, I, just in case those names didn't get the respect that they deserve, we're talking Ben. We're talking AB. We're talking Dell. Thank you. Thank you very welcome, much indeed. Welcome. Right, I want to try that again. Because you know me, I'm, I'm big on, on new technology. I'm a trendsetter. Right. Can't let it go. So we delete that. Right. Okay. I'm going to invite... I'm going to invite Daddy Bear Cub to speak. Oh, I invite them to speak. All right, you are invited to speak. Where's my glasses? I can't see anything. <laughs> I mean, this is just... Am I here? Yes! Oh, it's working. Right. Could you... You know when I was saying, can anybody hear us? Did you hear us? You were shown with a little mute icon next to it. Okay. You unclicked it and it was fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to invite some others to join us. Oh. Invite to speak. I'm just going to um, going to pick just people at random. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm going to pick. Um, okay. So people are invited to speak. So what do we do now then? Hello, who is, is there anybody there? Hello? Has anyone else joined? It, it, hello, this is Twitter Spaces speaking. Can you hear me <laughs> over? <laughs> Has everybody opened their first uh, advent calendar door? Yeah, we, I've got some Haribo in mine, which is odd because it's a, a Mars bar. No, it's, we got Haribo. I got a curly whirly. <laughs> oh, mate. We'll talk about that later. What did you get in your advent calendar? <laughs> JVCK Miller, thank you for the sub. So there is there is only host and DBC as speaker. The rest, well, I invited people. Oh, I've requested four. No one else has accepted. No. No one else has accepted. Um, all right, I'm going to invite, we're going to invite Greg. He'll talk for England. Of course he will. Um, okay, so the requests are there. Um, okay, so we've got. I mean, there's a lot of people listening, but why? So, they like they like to listen to these audio car crashes. So, uh, Daddy Beckup, have you ever used this before? Never. It, they're trying to do. You know, there's that other app, isn't there, that only does it by sound. And um, I think they were trying to copy that. I forget what it's called. Oh, now. that thing you tried. Oh, stereo. <laughs> Is it stereo? That was testing, testing, who is, testing. Who, hello. Right, here's, the, here's what we're going to do. When you finish speaking, you say over, over. My career is over. That's Greg. Greg Scott. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, Greg, over. Hello, sausage pie, over. Um, say hello to our friend Daddy Bear Cub, over. Hello, Danny Bear. I used to watch you on the television. No, Daddy, Your voice has dropped. Daddy Bear <laughs> Cub. Over. Oh, it's, Daddy, it's been a tough year. Over. Oh, <laughs> Daddy Bear Cub. <laughs> you know, you were around just when the hairy fairy arrived. I used to watch you, and, and, and my goodness me, Sunday mornings on Channel what? 4. <laughs> what? Over. What happened to Danny over. Bear? What happened to Danny Bear? Over. Uh, Yogi divorced her. And uh, Greg, she now high. lives in a box in uh, Chingford. Greg, you're high. I'm just now, Greg. I'm just going to see if I can. I'm just going to see if I can boot people. Oh, no, don't boot me. It's beautiful oh, to hear. It's beautiful to hear your voice. Go on, boot me. Right, thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I don't really see what the point of this is. Um. It could be a little bit of. If I were a racist, this would be a great, a great way of organ uh, or rounding up the troops, mm. the big racist troops for a race war. Well, don't give them ideas. You know they're not very bright. All right. Well, this was pointless, Daddy. Daddy, well, it wasn't pointless. We got to hear you, and, and you're one of the good guys. And Greg is one of the good guys, so we got to hear you. So thank you for that. And the five, six. It doesn't count unless you say over. Over. Sorry, over. Forgot. You're Stick absolutely right. Over.
Over. Bye then, over. Over and out. How do we end this? I actually love Daddy Bear Cub. Oh, we had lunch with him. I know you did. I'm very jealous. End. I bet he's got impeccable table manners. Well, that was really pointless. No, it was fun. Um, Sometimes that's the point. Sometimes when we touch. The mess is where the fun is, right? Or something. Chris Brogan upped his pledge. Brogues, that counts as a that counts as a sub. Wow, thank you. We're counting that as a s s s s sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I've been sent a Hermes parcel. It's just arrived. I want to fix the gap. If it's the gap, we're going to try this coat. Although I think I'm going to send it back. Well, I, I look forward to seeing it. I saw Banana Republic have got a sale on still. Oh. They're all the same, same thing, aren't they? Now? Oh, there's that bag, plastic bag out there. Is your lights? All oh, right. Okay. Thanks. I think this might just be. Um... Oh, do you know what I found the other day? And I don't know if you want it or not. Do you remember that um, that documentary about the Elvis man? Uh, with the masked Elvis man. Hello? Yeah? I found that. It's yours. With the director came in and gave us the disc and you gave it oh, to me. Oh, it's good, that. Yeah, yeah. But you want it back? I want you back. I want you back for good. Yeah, I'd watch that again, actually. All That's right, I'll bring, I'll bring it. I'll bring it. What was her name? Ja um, not Janie. Maybe it was ja Janie. Uh, yes. It she ended up making a documentary about Game of Thrones. She, she's ended up, she's still going on, but she's got some really big... Deal. She's she was brilliant. Yeah, she was absolutely. Um, she was brilliant. I mean, sorry, that that pause made it sound like I was being. So she was, um, yeah, brilliant. No, she was <laughs> she was she was brilliant. Uh, you could spread the word of radio anywhere via a sample on spaces, as it only lasts an hour before refresh. That's not bad. Oh, I don't know if that's a bad or a good idea because I don't really understand it. But that was fun. Um, was that your coat or no? No, it's um, so. Alex is now, he's, he'll be, how old is he? He'll be, tw he'll be 12 in January. No, he's not already 12. No, 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 no. 12, uh, the, I think so of him as the same as my eldest. Kim will be 10, uh, he'll be 12. And he's now, I've had to buy him 14 plus trousers. Wow. 14 plus. I only bought some 12 to 14 or uh, um, about three months ago. He's grown out of them. So I've had to buy him 14 plus. I mean, his feet are bigger than mine, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Because I went to lend him some trainers for for reasons, because he came without his shoes, didn't he? Joseph he like, is, too small. is 13, his feet are size 11. Joseph is a tall lad. Is he? Joseph looks like a man. Because I've yeah, only I'm seen the pictures of him as a little cute, no, curly-haired kid. No, he's a, he's a kid. tall lad. He's a tall lad. Um, but, yeah, he, Alex is that shy of his uh, mum's height. She's tall. Man alive. Ah. Uh. I mean, he's, he's, way, he's way taller than me. He's terrifying. I said to him, I reckon two years you'll be taller than me. Maybe even less. Maybe even less. Um, West Ham Place. Dan, you ended just as I subscribed and missed a shout out. Um, hang still on. Here, mate. We are still live on www.twitch.tv slash TLNA or even www.radioanywhere.live. I think... I think you we may have given you that shout out. Uh, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to be the good guys here. What we're going to do? We're going to give him a video shout out. All right, let's do it. Big up West Ham Place. The best. Big up. Here is your shout out. Thank you for the sub. I'll tweet that to them. This is what we do. This is the service that we provide. And we can't get jobs. I mean, it's outrageous. Let's um, add that. Add that. That's going to make his day. Going to make his day. Should we watch some airline? Yeah! I really, um, I'm keen to watch a little bit of airline. I don't remember. It should actually show us where we got to. Picture quality ain't great. Um... Airline passengers losing their shit. Okay, we should have a quick look at this. We are going to be on a flight. I warn you, oh, we are going face. to be on a flight. Is that Fonzie? Because we were told by your own people... He would never behave like that. Well, yes. That we were okay. So, 
you take responsibility and you get us on the flight. Unfortunately, there is no unfortunate. You are unfortunate. Every day at Luton, over a hundred passengers miss their flights. No, no chance. No, it's got on time slot, I'm afraid. Some take it well. That's not really him losing his shit. Saying some take it well. Sorry, that's a no. Oh. Can't get you off. And some don't. No, really, you can't get on that flight. Oh, no! Christ. Else. Christ. No, really, you can't get on that oh, no. oh, Christ. Oh. Christ. Still, that is one hell of a cry, isn't it? Oh, no. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Airline UK was a TV programme that was on in the UK from about 1998. Who's this guy? I didn't know we had a commentator. Oh, he's got, th he's got three, and TV? three and a half million views. <laughs> hey, I found a really good YouTuber the other day. I've not seen all her stuff yet, but I really like her. Called Cat Black. Okay. She's so good. Go on, tell me, tell me. Um, she was breaking down. Well, first of all, there was a guy. I mean, it was quite heavy stuff. It was like squeaky gym shoes. You're she's, right. She's going in on. Um, you know, Dave uh, Chappelle has done um, a Netflix special yes. where he's kind of doubled down on his anti-trans stuff. Yes. Well, she had comment on that as well, and she's trans, but um, she said that she didn't find it offensive. But you know, so she went in on it. But it's all really sort of thoughtful stuff. Cat Black. Cat Black. Okay. With, I think it's with a Q on the end. K-A-T and then uh, Black spelled, I think it's B-L-A-C-Q, but it might just be with a Q. But she's so good. She's so good. So I've subscribed to her and I'm working my way through her stuff. Dredge recommended a good podcast. I only learned a bit of it, but I've subscribed. It's sort of like a profile on a, a radio presenter from the 80s. Um... What's her name? Oh, anyway, the, the podcast is called Lost Notes Pre Presents Bent by Nature. And she was kind of like this sort of niche John Peel style presenter in the 80s. Anyway, I've only heard a bit of it. It sounds really good. So I'm, I'm I lo that. Honestly, if you've got any of those sort of recommendations, it's more thoughtful stuff, you know, T channels and all that is it's a little bit fun. But um, Cat Black, I really, um, I really dig her. And I'm looking forward to, you know, when you find someone new and you go, oh, there's loads here. Brilliant. I'm going to take my time. Where did we get to on airline? It's not showing me. Let's try episode. Uh, what if there one. was a phone episode that could three. see you the way you. Uh, episode three. I don't know where we got to. And this, I, I can't hold Izzy to account here because um, well, I didn't request. I mean, she, she dropped the ball by not doing it automatically. But I can't hold her to account here. That would be inappropriate. Although. It's her fault. Yeah. It's her we all know it's fault. Um, okay. I'm going to go one, three. Season one, episode three. Let's see where we get to. All right. Simon Le Bon, we haven't seen that one. No, we haven't. We've definitely seen two episodes. Sky living. Uh, Tony says, Tony left the, left earlier, so I don't know what he's doing back. Back in 98, 99, I used to fly to Edinburgh Fly Edinburgh to Luton by EasyJet almost every weekend. I was courting a lady. We used to see the airline film crew all the time and hope we'd get interviewed. They never did. Great story. I'll be the judge of that. My friend was working for EasyJet at the time and so gave me a lot of the inside track. And that's the friend, Brett, who ended up going on first dates. Okay. Yeah. Love yeah. him. I'm going to... You've just reminded me. I must send him a message. All right, Brett. Nice to see you. Well, that's a good shot. On it's board nice. airline tonight... Kevin's in hot water. I've just got back and she's called me, said that I've been reported, I've been cautioned. No, we want airport. Oh, mate. Airport. You mean no bon? Airport, no bon, no bonbon. Airport. Uh, that's what it was called, right? Was it, it was airport. Airport's different from airline. Which one were we watching? No, it was about EasyJet, so it would be airline, surely. Which, was it the EasyJet one we watched? Yeah. Guys, what were we watching? Yeah, it we want airline. It's airline. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Well, let's try airline. Series one, episode two. We have, have we seen any of these? Airline, series one, episode one. We haven't watched any of these. We didn't watch them in order, did we? We also just jumped in. I really want that man sacked. He didn't have a clue what he was doing. But what is going on? Have we watched any? We've just seen the first evidence of the beginning of cancel culture. I want that man sacked. We watched the early one before EasyJet took over. Okay. Of, of airline or airport. Airline then. So is that, but how come we haven't seen series one, episode one? 
What is going on? Is this the Mandula know. effect? I think it is. Got this jumper from a charity shop for six quid. No bobbles. No bobbles. Never been worn. Six quid. It's great, isn't it? With this with a blue suit jacket on. Steve Martin, like, ladies and gentlemen. I Steve like the Martin. school jumper vibes. Oh, yeah. I think you started episode one, but YouTube kicked off. Oh, we watched yes. a full. Have we not watched a full episode? I don't think we did, but I don't. We're in. I don't remember that. We haven't seen. What is going on? We haven't seen any of this. And it was worse quality than this. Yeah, I think we watched something. We must have jumped in like maniacs, like halfway through. Let me just try Airline Series 2, Episode 1. Did we go to Series 2? Did we Series 2 it? Yeah, yeah. we Series 2'd it. We Series 2'd it. there are children around, get me somebody that We Series 2'd it. That was the woman who wanted to get her dog to yeah. Edinburgh. So what do we do, Catherine? Do we go to two Series 1? 2, Episode 1. one. Oh, let's do it. 2-1. Se yeah. We're going to Series 2. So, okay. Well, hang on. There's two... Hang on. There's two Series 2, Episode 1s. It should have been changed. Which is oh, God, I'm so confused. Quite a hard Love to see you. Take care. I'll ping him up. I'll ping him up. Okay. And a Hang on. Depart. I'm so confused. There are two series two, season two, episode ones. What? What? Let's just start it. From what, though? We've seen Series 2, Episode 1, but we haven't actually seen Season 2, Episode 1. Yeah. Let's go to Series... We've seen Series 2, Episode 2. We've seen Series 2, Episode 3. Right? That's showing that we've seen it. Yeah, because Bucks Fizz are on it. Boom. But then what is this? ...her next trip to Belfast. Thank you very much. These episodes are remotely in the right order. Okay. All right. So that's... All right. We're going to... Okay. Okay, so someone's someone's thrown a, a spanner in the works. So we've done series two, episode three. We want series two. Well, hang on. We've Don't got... trust this JWSOAT TV because that's the one that's All right. go, going um, Do you freestyle. Want series on the two, episode four. Here we go. Flipping it. Katrina heck. gets ready for the big day. Jeez. Low quality and video. Go shopping. It's all right. <laughs> Just imagine it's the 90s and everyone's smoking. That's why it's misty. That was, a, that was an effort. Fly, Don't forget, you can still call in if you want to interrupt this. You're very welcome to. Although call it has in. taken us ages to get here, but you, you do you. <laughs> on a far -flung Don't forget, you can still donate. Oh, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Have we missed some subs. We got 20, 79. We got 79 subs. What the hell? Uh, JVK Miller subbed. And then 15 minutes later followed. Thought, yeah, better follow. Wow. I like your style. That you is, don't do what's expected. That is unconventional. <laughs> and I love it. I love the unconventionality of what you've just You're done maverick. there. maverick. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, don't forget, you can't, we've got nine patrons today. I'm I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Um, at some point, we will be going, not, not this week, we will be going behind the paywall. And you will have to be a 666 plus that or above. Um, to come and watch the uh, to come and watch the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the patrons. I suggest sign up. Today is the best day, and you get access to about five hundred hours worth of material that we've been posting since June. Um, so go and have a little look at that and sign up. Um, if you want to sub here, use your Amazon Prime. You link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch, and then you can sub to us for free. If you have subbed previously with Amazon Prime, it doesn't auto. Renew. It right. is excellent, Tony. I'm thrilled with that. It doesn't also renew. So if you've subbed a while ago with Prime, just go and have a little look. Maybe you need to do it again. If you're thinking of subbing with cash, it's three ninety nine. We get two quid. The other half goes to Twitch. If you want to do that, that's great. Thank you. However, if you're doing it because you want to get money to us, I would suggest donating the three ninety nine because we get that. We get all of that. So if you want to do the Christmas tip. Um, that's the way to did do it. Did we mention Gemma's resubscribed? Yeah, we. I think we got Gemma's. Did we, Gemma? If we didn't, thank you. I think we did, but if we didn't, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, let's have some of this then. Let's fly, let's fly away. 
It's oh, the day of the World Cup semi-final between Holland and Brazil. And if you've got a ticket for the match, you'll do anything to get on a plane. Can I have your attention, please? Is there one person going to Nice who is prepared to forgo their ticket for, for a minimum a ticket for the semi-final? For a minimum of £100. For a minimum, one person prepared to forgo their ticket to Nice for a minimum of 100 Well, what's the maximum? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> interested in this minimum of which you speak. What's the maximum? Because if it's close to a grand... Let's talk. I mean, the top will be 175, I bet. With a maximum of, of 101 pound. Faith says, I love Tony Robinson. We should get him on the show. Friend of ours. We should get him on the show. Yeah. Why don't you invite him? All right, I'll ask him. Yeah. Because he's, he's been, been busy over the last couple of years, hasn't he? Yeah. But I'll ask. He invented COVID. <laughs> um, we'll get him on. He's a lovely, lovely guy. A ticket, but he hasn't got a ticket to get onto the plane. We're appealing to you better nature. Here's how lovely Come Tony on. Robinson is, right? My kids had been reading his. He, he does some books in the same kind of vein as Horrible Histories, you know, because he's got this way of presenting history as fun. Hey! Uh, well, Ray, thank you, Clara, Clara Bell, Bell, for the raid. Yeah. Anyway. Yo. Yo. I mentioned it to him that they'd been enjoying his books. That. He said, oh, which ones have they got? And I, sold, and I told him and he took a note. And then in the post the same week, I got all the other books. And they were all signed to the kids. Wow. Yeah. Wowzers. He's a really sweet guy. Really, really sweet. Is there one? Only happens one once every four years. Thank you for the raid. These football fans are desperately trying to check. Listen, right? The football fans are going to a tournament. They want to buy my ticket. You can fuck off. I'm going on holiday. I don't give a shit about your football. Well, we're not football people, are we? No. I don't get it. For a lot of people, football is the beginning and the end of the argument. I grew up in a house where you, Clara, we had one right. telly and on Saturdays we didn't get to watch anything because football. I, um, The boys like Chelsea. I don't like football. The boys like Chelsea. And I looked at getting tickets for a game. You can't get them. Is it just because of COVID? Are the numbers limited? You have to be a member of their fan club, which is only about 20 quid each. But then you only get a, like a chance to buy tickets. Right. It doesn't guarantee you can buy tickets. And I thought, um, yeah, I want to. I take the boys to a football match. They'd love it. But I, you can't get tickets. You can't get tickets. Mm. Change flights. Their plane has developed a technique. Uh, tell you what, mate. I've got a ticket to Nice. I'll buy your footy ticket for a minimum one hundred pounds. <laughs> deal or no deal. <laughs> Fought and they're stranded. Okay. It started at 8.30 when we were told that we were going to be boarding in three minutes and we're still here. And there's, we reckon there's about £100,000 worth of tickets on the plane to the cup final. Some people paid, you know, just were very lucky and got the tickets. Other people paid a fortune over the odds. Yeah. And from 8.30, we've been told that there's a plane coming in the next half hour. Does 200 quid make a difference? Is that, is that Susanna Constantine? Who, I don't know who Susanna is. Trini and Susanna, Susanna. No. It is! It is! Is it? Yes. Right, hang on a minute. How do you do a screen grab? It's Twitter. <laughs> Odd question. What's her Twitter name? I don't know. I don't even know whether she's on it. Should, should, how do you spell her name? S is or you, Z? Sue, I think it might be an S. Constantine, there it is, Susanna, I should be with an H. Susanna with an H. Constantine Twitter. There we go, that's her, right? Yes. It's her. Holy shit, it is. It is her. All right. Okay. So we, we're going to tweet her. Where's my Twitter? Odd question. But is this you in an episode of Airline? I want to put the picture. Let me, um, sh let me do it again. Shift Windows S. Paste. There we go. We'll find Tony out. is her. We'll find out. She has been a pro. When was the last? Is she prolific on Twitter? Uh, November 14th. So, no, she's not really. Okay. We'll find out. We'll find out. This is this is this is great. 
This is great. Uh, maybe she's a time traveller. Well, no, she would have been alive in like 1998 or 96 or whatever. It's not time travel. Looks a lot like, uh, I say it's a doppelganger. Ganger, ganger. Definite likeness. It looks like her. I think it is too. This is how facial recognition security algorithms work. <laughs> don't need them, just need me. <laughs> uh, I'm good with faces, which is I'm, handy because he's... Terrible. I'm terrible. Yeah, facial, facial Do I blindness. know him? Yes, he's your son. Oh. It's time to raise the stakes. <laughs> Is there anyone prepared to go their ticket to Nice for 200 quid? There will be another flight to Nice today, but only EasyJet know when it's going to be. Yeah? Talk Sadly, talk. there are no takers. And we're on this it. one looks like <laughs> it's going to extra time. What do you think EasyJet should do under the circumstances? Compensate. Somehow. You can, how can you compensate a semi final of a world? I think um, they should all play a football game for you. Let's just, hang on Who the hell is Ginger Baker? Right, hang on a second. So let's just listen to what this guy, this guy's this solution, This one looks right? like it's going to extra time. What do you think EasyJet should do under the circumstances? Compensate. Somehow. You can, how can you compensate a semi-final? Ian, you're contradicting yourself. I mean... <laughs> uh, is that Sue Perkins? Did we ever find out what was happening in Abbey Road? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we, we? did. I can't remember what it was, but we did. We did. Well, yeah. can get us to Nice. Nothing they can do. And get us to the gear. Well, they could get us a flight straight to Marseille. They take us straight in there. Maybe drop people off at Nice. And Don't go think on that's to how planes work, mate. Maybe drop people off at Nice. What is this a bus? <laughs> <laughs> what is this a bus? Listen to him. Flight straight to Marseille. They take us straight in there. Maybe drop people off at Nice and go on to Marseille. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tell you what, we're not going to stop. We're just going to slow down and go a bit lower. Did you he, jump. Did he say it was half eight in the morning? Yeah. They've been in spoons for at least three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We get an apology. Yeah. And if someone comes down here, uh, the easier chairman who loves publicity, if he comes down here, at least apologise to us. That wouldn't be enough. No. That wouldn't be enough. But you want to take it out on someone. The EasyJet chairman, though, is at his home in Monaco, a thousand miles away. <laughs> Living the dream. Today's a big day for Stelios Hargianu. He's off to the States to buy a set of brand new planes. A way of telling the world EasyJet means business. Gonna need business. a bigger suitcase, mate. EasyJet yeah, is my yeah, baby. Well done. I created this company from scratch. It was a dream, and now, and now it's a company moving millions and millions of people every year. Uh, you know, everybody said it's not going to succeed, it doesn't work. Uh, the Europeans like meals on the plane, the Europeans like um, their travel agents. And guess what? Three years later, everybody... There are, how come there are still travel agents? There are travel agents. Some people still don't have computers, do they? <clears throat> come on, Catherine. Hey, when I went to do um, jury service, there was one guy, an older man, but she said, right, you can all go home and I'll give you a text tonight to let you know whether you're in again tomorrow. And, of course, he didn't have a mobile phone, so she had to phone him up Dickhead. manually every Dickhead. night. He says this is the way to go, including British Airways. Back at Luton, one fan has struck lucky. So what's he actually doing? You're offering... He's offering to give us yeah, his seat if they can take his bags off the plane. That's very nice of you. I'm a football supporter. Absolutely, <laughs> I yes. understand. Thanks. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Where's that 200 quid? Also, it's very nice of you to give someone else more work to do because they've got to take his bags off now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... They won't let us swap. There's some bureaucracy. They will not let us swap seats. Yeah. That's because they have to get the bags off the plane. Yeah, there's a thing called customer relations being flexible with people and uh, actually... And there's also a thing called being a twat. There's also a thing called football not being um, the beginning and end of everyone's day. Alan Michael says, I support football. Good for you, Alan Michael. Good for you. I thank God someone does, because to be honest, no one does, do they? I no. mean, you can't say football these days. You know, say football. Back ways to help people, but these guys aren't interested. This is one of the... You won't do it. Won't do it. Won't do it. Won't do it. Thanks, won't do it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Some fans get on the earlier flight, but others will have to sweat it out. Easy, Jeff. <laughs> You've had a lot of money for your ticket. Quite a lot, yeah. I'd rather not say how much, but quite a lot, yeah. Give me a clue. Well, well that's four figures between the two of us, anyway. Between the two. Four figures for a football ticket. I get it. I get it. If, you know, I get it. <laughs> it's the World Cup semi-final. Two best teams in the world. It's, it's a dream come true. Shattered, basically. Stelios is on the flight to Seattle to close his deal with Boeing. He's ordered 42 aircraft in all at a cost of nearly $2 billion. Funnily enough, the scariest bit is making the decision. <laughs> it's very pleasing, very satisfying to go from the original agony of, you know, do I order new planes or do I continue buying from the second-hand market, to contacting Boeing for the negotiation, to getting serious about it, to, you know, sort of losing sleep over the decision, to doing the deal. 
Even for Stelios, it's the biggest deal of his life. In Luton, football shirts have given way to a more exotic breed of passenger. Oh, what Is this EMF? Are they going to Ibiza? It's the flight to Amsterdam. Ah! <laughs> for Jane Bolton, nothing can be taken for granted. I went to Amsterdam with Mackenzie, and we are the only people that, by accident, when we got there, we opened up his, um, he had a pouch of Golden Virginia. We had a load of weed in there. We're the only people to <laughs> have smuggled it. weed <laughs> into <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> Oh, I have to go blow my nose. Hang on. Continue. I'm sure I you can pick up on the thread. You haven't got a passport. No. Well, you can't travel. What? Why not? Okay. <laughs> Why not? You could in Europe. You could use your identity card. Um, well, uh, we didn't have an identity card. Yep, yeah, but we didn't, so we couldn't get to Europe. We'll find out. Do you live in Amsterdam? Yeah, no, it's not up to the British Embassy. It's up to the actual flight company. You can't travel. Oh, it's up, up to the actual flight company. Hello? I'm sorry you have to hear that flush. It's up to the actual flight company. Hello? You, hello? Who are you talking to? You. It's up to the... Because you're not listening. It's up to the, uh, up to the actual flight company. She literally just said it. That's a quote from her. Listen, listen, listen. It's up to the actual flight yeah. company. I've been saying it for the last five minutes. I thought you were talking to I, the no drummer response. or something that there isn't. Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not up to the British Embassy. It's up to the actual flight company. Excuse me, why do you think you're talking to? It's a foreign country without a passport. I have got a passport. Yeah, but you haven't got it with you. No. No, you can't travel then. Why? Because okay. you haven't got a passport. I um, never told you this. Oh, you can't yes. travel without a passport. But it's, it's, so it's nothing to do with America. Nothing to do with the British Embassy, no. There's a no... No way we can accept travel without a passport. Are you going to go with him? Yeah. yeah. If, no, on your own, if you can't travel. Well, well yeah, but... Um, you know, he wasn't told. He, 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 no, you should have rang us here. You can't travel with any airline without a passport. Go abroad. Mm. Have to have your passport with you. How is this news? My passport's in Winchester. Regulations. Regulations. Not a good thing. Bruno Taylor has hitchhiked all around the world, but leaving Luton Airport will prove to be his toughest assignment. Yeah, I've actually just come back from, uh, from travelling. Me and my friend Duncan over there, we were travelling to India and Nepal and um, Australia, Fiji. We got, just got, he got back yesterday, I got back on Sunday. He didn't have anything on him, apart from a driving licence and a student card. <laughs> Even though it's travelled around the world. Hello. Basically, I've got everything for this flight except my passport. Oh dear. And they just told me that and said I can't fly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I need so basically, to fly. how far do you live from here? Winchester, 60 miles away. Right, our next flight to Amsterdam is at 4.33. Basically, you can't fly without a passport. That's what she so, said. Yeah. Um, I need to make a phone call. Yeah, sure. Do you uh, want to use the phone here? Yeah, if that'd be great. I'm just trying to think. Just no mobiles. No mobiles. In an emergency, even the most hardened backpacker has to make that call. Mum. Mum? Yeah. <laughs> what a lovely little line into that from Tony. Uh, get, I'm at the airport. I've left my passport at home and they're not letting me fly. Um... Do you know what? We're finishing in 25 minutes. You know, you know what would make my days? Two, one of two things, right? We get that up to 250 quid. That'd be great. Or we get, we get this up to 10. Get this up to 250. Get this up to 10. Get this up to 125. We've got three options. Can we get... Tell you what. Can we get the sub goal up to 100 or the tip up to 250 or... You're a reasonable man. I'm a reasonable man. Or the Patreon's up to 10. Oh... Can we do it, guys? Can we do it? Would I say this up to 100? So that's 21 more subs. This up to 250. So what's that? 17, 16 quid. This up by one. So that's like £6.66. Can we do it before 12.30? That would be great. That would be my dream. Ask the Magic 8 Ball. Can we do it? It says, you may rely on it. 
we go. All right, so it's going to happen. We're going to rely on it. It's going to happen. I'm very, very excited that someone's going to do it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get back down to here. Passports, uh, yeah, somewhere. It's either in my bedroom or in the kitchen, but it's definitely at home. All right, it might be in my bedroom. I can catch a train somewhere, like maybe to um, like West London or somewhere, I don't know. Oh, no. Thankfully, Mum takes charge. Yeah. Especially. They've even they've even got my oh, someone from work driving to bring it. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Yeah, yeah, that's very kind. Tell him, tell him that that's that's like one hundred percent amazing. Ma, muchas gracias. Adios. Thank you very much for being here. Unexpected. He spoke Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, the whole that last sentence was Spanish. Hang on. That's like one hundred percent amazing. Ma, muchas gracias. Adiós. Okay. Thank you very much. Just giving the old cool guy Unexpected. Cycle talk. My parents drove from North. Where's the other cycle guy? Bottled it. Deptford. Bullshitter. Mm. My parents drove from North Norfolk to Gatwick, forgot their passports, had to drive all the way back home, then to Gatwick again. Didn't we speak to someone once who managed to travel abroad on his wife's passport by accident? No one looked at it properly. No, no. He didn't even notice until no, he came no. back. <laughs> oh. Just playing around a little bit. She's, she's managed to get someone from work. That's children. Never off your hands. Oh, yeah, she did. She's got me unstuck quite a few times. She's got to be grateful. I think I'll cook more at home. Maybe I'll cook her a meal or something. Alan Michael, I'd send him straight to bed with no weed. <laughs> <laughs> Hippo, it's so unexpected. They've bankrolled him travelling around the world. 60 miles with a passport isn't a surprise. <laughs> Shame on They take a lot of trouble, really. And you continue to let them down. Mm -hmm. In Seattle, Maybe they should let you land on your ass. They've rolled out the red carpet for a special... He's customer. been dead. Oh. Something's happened, something's happened, something's happened. Dell Stokes has tipped Thank a fiver. Dell Stokes Del. has tipped a fiver. Look at that. We need just 11 pounds and one penny to get us up to 250. See? There we go. Sit stands. My dad travelled on Britney ferries using my mum's passport by accident. It used to happen. Used to be in bed. I hope now in these troubled times it doesn't happen so often, but who knows? We've had another. What have we had? What have we had? There was another donut. Oh, baby. Music Soul. Thank 20 you quid. Merry so Christmas, much. Ian and Kath. Thanks for the laughs. Well, that deserves a. Thanks for the laughs. Thank you. My pleasure. You brought us good weather. We appreciate hey, yeah. it. <laughs> Changing the last couple of hours. When you've got $2 billion in your back pocket, you get to meet the top man, Boeing's chairman. We want to celebrate this. This is a great day for absolutely, us. Absolutely, absolutely. For us, too. Nelly, someone I work with drove to Edinburgh for a weekend and got a text from her dad jokingly asking if she has her passport. She drove two hours back home to get it. Proud of him, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's time to compare yacht size. I've heard you have a boat of your own, yeah. What sort of boat is it? 120 foot yacht. It was built in Germany. Right. Mine is 42. <laughs> I think we found orange. <laughs> Stelios's new plane is ready for inspection. It's great, doesn't she? Yeah, absolutely. They even got the telephone number right. <laughs> I, I had this worry that they might miss a zero or something. <laughs> Imagine. When Imagine. you're forking out $41 million, it's best to give it a Don't quick Don't put your head in there. <laughs> right, it's turning. <laughs> oh, we even got this in orange. I thought we didn't take this option. It's good. Looks I'm great. in here, big boy. Tell you, Come on. Now you're here, what do you actually do to check that everything's OK? Personally, I do nothing. It's other people who actually have to make sure that everything is all right. But uh, the expression is you kick the tires. I've got a client today. I can't have <laughs> so like footprints on me. It's all right. <laughs> Back at Luton, the courier with Bruno's passport has arrived. Just one problem, Bruno is asleep. 
Oh, Bruno. Please just call Bruno Taylor. Tony makes a great point. These folks don't know how relaxed plane travel is compared with how bloody difficult it's about to get in just a few years. They don't even have to take their shoes off. Lucky yeah. buggers. The shoes thing, I, you don't, I don't think you have to do as much. I think the last few flights I've done, I've not had to take my shoe. Richard Reed, that's his fault. Um, I don't know why I remember his name. Um, but the shoe thing, the, the, the shoe, the belt... And all of the electronics coming out of their cases and stuff. That's the, that's the pain. But I'd rather that than getting blown up. Yeah, rather exactly. Rather that than getting Taking blown your up. coat off and having to get dressed again at the end of it, it's a small price to pay, isn't it? Ming, thank you. You've sent an issue, about, uh, an email about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Luckily, Mum's got all the bases covered. Hello? Yes, Mum. I don't want my boys to turn out like that. Does that not worry about what your girls be like when they're 20? That way worries me. They won't turn out like that. Okay. <laughs> they won't. Why? They won't. Because... My boys are posh. They will. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think your, your boys... <laughs> your... The, the boys will turn out like the Kim. <laughs> That's Kim. Kim. Alex, no. Kim, and yeah. The thing is, he's so adorable as well. He'll get away with it. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I worry that my eldest is too grown up at this point. And yeah. every now and again, I see a little flash of her being a daft kid. And I think, yeah. oh, thank God for that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Was he, uh, was he... The youngest is daft as a brush. They now. gave his surname. Are they on Twitter? When did they give his surname? Luckily, mum's got all the bases covered. That's Bruno, isn't it? Hello? Yes, mum. Oh, he's around, is he? What's it? What's he got on? Oh, he's just like a golfer. Thanks a lot for That's right. You can even see the difference in appearance. My flight's at about four. Is it? Thanks a lot for that. That's right. That's all right. Um, Your mum's going to come up, she's a bit busy. <laughs> Tony, his necklace is making me so angry. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, she, she it's like the shark's tooth. I don't think you needed a passport. I it's remember when Dave sent us a shark's tooth necklace and then it got lost in the post, so I don't believe he actually sent me. Really? But, but Bruno Taylor. Well, the, I mean, there's probably quite a few Bruno Taylors. But you do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's... Um, <laughs> so you didn't bring it? No, Just I actually forgot it. Wasn't... I forgot it. Oh, but right. I, I thought, oh, it'll be all right. I've got my driving glasses. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. All right, mate. Thanks again. All right. All right. Good travels, yeah? Yeah. He'll get away with it through life because he's charming. Yeah. 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 Just yep. being just slightly shit. <laughs> Take care. Do. See when we get See back. You. All sorted. No, I'm off. I'll just have to wait until. Until the flight. Yeah. You don't going to rush that. Don't fall asleep now, Bruno. It's Friday afternoon at Liverpool Airport, and the stag and hen parties are off to Amsterdam. Jack Little, I think Bruno might have experienced marijuana at some point. Yeah, it's too big. Someone's off the leash. I don't think that colour of yellow exists in the real world. Dispatcher Kevin Reardon lends the ladies a helping hand. So is it hen night then? Hen weekend rather? Yes. Is it? Who's yes. getting married? Me. How are you? Yes. Oh, you can't be happy all your life, can you? No. <laughs> Paid by credit card about three weeks ago. But not everyone's going Dutch. One stag looks like missing the party. It's definitely got tomorrow's day to it. Oh, matey! It's got definitely got tomorrow's date on it. Actual scenes. You'll never catch up. Actual scenes. Then you say it should have been four to nine. Yeah. Yeah. This is the problem. Also, like I said, the added problem we do have is tonight's party. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not give the reference number of the booking? It doesn't matter, does it? Yes, it does. To confirm the flight, when everything's been confirmed, the reservations agent will they Check the. Have you got the email on your. F ah, sorry. Yeah, they go through everything twice, don't they, to make sure yeah. things aren't cocked up. So she said Friday. Well, what's Saturday here? And it's, you know, they very rarely make mistakes. It's what they're doing all day. We're flying 
we booked it three weeks in advance so we could get on this flight. A friend booked it two days ago. He's on this flight, no problems. But well, we've got a problem. I don't know, some, there's some cock up somewhere. Your friend? The dates are confirmed at least twice. It, was, it didn't even say that you'd been given a confirmation number. So we just didn't have a leg to stand on. We'll check with EasyJet. They said exactly the same thing. In the office, check-in boss Julie Kevan is facing a crisis. A staff member has resigned, and she's already short on personnel. Her hope... Julie Kevan. ...are now pinned on one girl who's due back from sick leave. And here we have Sarah's sick check. Oh, yeah. She's done that well. Diagnosis, yep. Another four weeks. <gasps> oh, she's really not well. Wonderful. Oh, she's got a, um, a, a good doctor. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? <laughs> Doctor. I've never had a good doctor. <clears throat> I'm not a skiver. Um, I can get anything I want from a doctor. I know. I know how to. I know how to play the system. I'm sleeping so badly. I've not slept for it's about three weeks, and um, I'm just. I'm just fine. Have they not got some sort of alert attached to your now now? Like eh, eh, eh. I've had this pain in my arm for about a month. This is as much as I can lift it, and it's in my hands. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having trouble um, getting an erection, and <laughs> I don't want to pay boots prices. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, actually, no silence, because you know what was happening the other day? The other week, I was at an house party, and, uh, so to speak, I got the horn. So, uh, screw you. You did? Yeah. <laughs> wow! Congrats. I've never, ever had a signal. <laughs> if I'd have known, I'd have marked it on the calendar. <laughs> we can have an anniversary party. <laughs> never. I don't think I've ever, ever. Maybe the odd day I've not been well, but I don't think I've ever, ever been to the doctor and had a sick note. Okay, lucky for you. This guy's I'm in a, that gang. This guy's wearing a red dwarf, dwarf uh, jacket. Oh, Back right. on check-in, the stag's still trying to get to Amsterdam. Yeah. Credit card transactions or reservation? No, but we actually have reservation number, confirmation numbers that we always give out. So we take bookings here over the phone. This is easy, Jeff. That's the gesture. So I don't know if you, I, I, maybe some of you missed it. We, I was driving the other day and um, I was in the wrong lane, but I, you know, and this van was going really fast behind me and he had to, he should have slowed down, but he beep. And I was at my boys in the car and as he went past, uh, afterwards he went past, Kim said, oh my God, he was so angry. He did that. The fist. And I'm thinking, no, he didn't. He did that. <laughs> he did that. My little nine year old baby. It's not safe to have someone standing over your shoulder while you're driving. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Julie now has to change the roster, and that means more work for everyone. Why don't you do it on the computer? It varies on okay, compulsory yeah, overtime. I know you can't force people to do overtime, but you know, you, you'd like to think people will help out knowing that for those four weeks we're going to be busy. But um, it's also trying to make it fair. I'm, I'm trying not to just pick on one particular person because they happen to be available so I've decided to just change the whole roster for those four weeks but the new roster goes down badly at check-in it's quite it's quite in our contract is it that we have to work our days off no no we're contracted to work four to two hours a week and we do over that already so we're not we don't have to do any more when she does a roster she does it about six weeks in advance so we know what we're doing but if there's any overtime to be done, especially for short staff like we are now, she doesn't tell us, she just gets the roster sent back over the office and she writes it on mm. and it's there for us to look at, which is wrong because she doesn't tell us. This is not the company's fault. So I... This is not the company's fault. I would expect them to view it as, well, we're just going to have to knuckle down and get on with this. Whoa! <laughs> Does she know how people work? <laughs> sort of thing. I, I, I really would not take too good to anyone's attitude changing. Well, Julie though may have a problem. Down on check-in, there's me. These um, hats are where that Korean guy got the inspiration for the masks in Squid Game. Mutiny in the air. I'm not doing it. <coughs> Incredibly, back in Luton, Bruno Taylor... No wonder someone's on long-term sick. <laughs> ...made it to his plane without getting lost. 
But for Jane Bolton, the next absent-minded passenger is never far behind. Can you give her a hand out with her bag? PSA. I just wanted to start you to check in with the baby. Arrest services for Yes. She had, she'd been sitting in the airport having lunch for two hours. She hadn't checked in. I just heard the call for last passengers. <laughs> then again, it's not just passengers who get distracted. I don't know how people be so chilled out mm. when they're going on a flight. Yeah. I'm like oh, I continually thinking I've left something behind. I'm not, I don't feel right until I've collected my bags on the other side. Yeah. And then I'm immediately starting to think about packing for going home. I hate it. Well, you could get antsy about getting in the overhead lockers. Oh, I don't like that, that thing, yeah. Trina Leader is getting married in three days' time. Today's the day for the dress fitting and church rehearsal, and her mind isn't totally on the job. Oh, get my bag back. Oh, hello, Magic! <laughs> <laughs> it's my it's like the generation my day. I want to have that day thing. for as long as I can remember. I've always wanted to wear... Oh, I've always wanted to get married, I mean. <laughs> I've always wanted to wear my dress. And, and I've always... I know it'd be the best day of my life, and I'm not nervous at all. I'm just excited. I can't wait. Katrina brought the wedding forward after finding out she had renal cancer for the second time in seven years. Yes, you're boarding on time at 20 to 8. Thank you. Have a nice flight. She wants to get married before her chemotherapy treatment takes its toll, and the whole family has pitched in to oh, help. Oh, God, I remember that wedding dress shop. What, from real life? Yeah, it's in yeah, yeah. And then we'll practice kneeling as well and sitting down. Ooh. I used to get my hair cut next door. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> the mirror lane, Katrina. It's lovely. Do you say? Yeah. Everything, including choosing the dress, has been done in a matter of weeks. I just know my little sister, ever since we were really small, once a week she'd get my mum's wedding dress on. And her dream's always been to dress up like a princess and get married, so her dream's going to come true and I know it's going to make her really happy. But it's been a long day for Katrina and she's starting to feel exhausted. I think I'm just... I think I've overexerted myself a bit, yeah. I think. I'm just worried now that I'm not going to... Because I know what I felt like before, you know, if I feel too gaudy for the day. I'm gonna be out of, it's the only day, in it? You only once you have it, and you want to appreciate it as much as you can. So I think I'll, I'll have a little lay until about nine. <laughs> I've got to go and get the girls' necklaces. Tiny, you can be the order of service this evening, yeah? She'll need to muster all her energy if she's to make the dress rehearsal tonight. OK, we're all clear to turn two. OK, starting two. Back at Liverpool, Kevin Reardon is ready to dispatch the flight to Amsterdam. In the office, it's crunch time over the new roster. Not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Also, she's messing with Scouse women. Yeah. Any other days? I'll let you know. Andrew said no, she's going away. Um, Nicola, I can't get hold of her. Robert is already doing um, a number of shifts over time. Unlucky, mate. But that has now left me with... No one to cover. Her last hope is that Sam Knight will do the extra day. Ooh. You see, an issue. Yeah, that yeah, it was an exchange. It was a shift change. But if I paid you overtime for Saturday, would you would you bring back your shift? Tell you what, I'll have overtime and a half. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, you were down for Saturday anyway, but would you work Saturday as an overtime shift and do your normal shift on Wednesday as rostered? Right, that's brilliant. She asked me politely, and I'll respond to people who've got manners. She said, would you mind? And it was the uh, day I could do. I could do the other two I was supposed to be off, so I said, yeah. That's like me. I get arsy when people... Oh, and I think people are overstepping, but if they ask me nicely, I'll do it. <laughs> It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. I'm her boss. What? She doesn't do a lot of the things I tell her you to do. You don't ask me nicely. Yes, I fucking do. You also saw how he spoke to me earlier on. Compromise. And I've she... the door too, and you've opened it, big boy. It's polite. If she just wrote it down, I would have told her no way. 
but she actually said, would you mind? You know what? Sometimes your attitude, you've got, you've, you've got a, a rude look about you yeah. that is belittling. You're doing it now. <laughs> Good. You're doing it now. I'm glad it's coming over. You're doing it now. <laughs> okay. Do you know what I'm thinking? You're doing, doing it now. You no, know I'm thinking while I'm doing it. Yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Can someone clip that and send that to Keith Malley, please? <laughs> 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 my kids, you know, since it's only me running things at home at the moment, my kids have started doing an impression of me and it sounds like that. You're doing it now. You're doing it now. Oh. That. It's it. Keith Valley. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. One last push. I'm doing it, so I said, no, I wouldn't mind at all. It's the dress rehearsal for Katrina's wedding. You turn towards it or hold hands. Turn towards fuck is he wearing is that as he just had all his flesh ripped off what is going on there it looks like it's uh, he's wearing the Turing shroud even for the rehearsal you're in a church dress <laughs> respectfully although i said um fuck twice in the chur Did church you? on monday yeah yeah it was an aa meeting and oh. it's in the church and then... i went to a comedy concert comedy concert a comedy gig once in a church and i did feel very uncomfortable with the amount of um effing and jeffing effing and jeffing and sexy talk i'm gonna go and see a beatles tribute in a church I'm going to go and see a Beatles tribute in the church. I don't quite know how it work, and it would sound rubbish, I think. Or Grace. Mm. Towards each other, shift slightly. In the but her fiance Julian has to rehearse without her. <laughs> He's holding her hand. No. Um, Imagine. But you, you put a little hand on her shoulder. Mm. Put a little hand on her shoulder. To turn her as she sits mm -hmm. slightly towards Julian. Why are they Julian working? Turn towards her. <laughs> oh, I said we Katrina do. has been taken into hospital. Can we not get someone just to stand in? With a dangerously high temperature. The wedding, now only 36 hours away, oh, bloody is hell. in doubt. If by any chance she's in a very shaky state and can make it, but actually can't make that bit, we will then make shift and bring it here. She'd want it as normal as possible. I know she'd like, because she knows other bright, you know. Yes, but there is a limit to kind um, of physical. But I think. She if, what's she doing is saying this is this is an option this is an option of course she wants it the way she wants it we get but that. if she's too ill this is an option well it's just so sad to see ian did you know you got a mention in viz oh is there a reply to my letter from the last viz is there a reply to my letter can someone take a picture and tweet it or maybe someone's too because i po i had a letter printed in viz i wonder if anyone's oh oh i'm buying that Oh, no, I didn't know that. That's exciting. Is it a reply to my letter? Is it really rude to him, though? It is, is a reply. Be no, I don't care. It'll be funny. It'll be funny. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Well, that, oh, that's made my day. That has made my day. I go, you can't buy. Where did I buy Viz last time? You can't really buy it everywhere. You can buy. I, I went into Smith's and I, there was a young woman like in her 20s. I said, do you have Viz? She said, what is it? I said, it's, it's like a comic for adults. So she took me to the Beano. I said, no, it's, <laughs> I said, no, it's kind of, um, it's, it's for adults. It's quite sweary. She went, well, these are our comics. I went, well, it's kind of a magazine. They didn't have it. Where did I buy it? Oh, that's, that's made my day. Dale walking down the aisle on his own. He's got... No daughter, as in Julian's waiting for his bride, but there is no bride. And, and I'm not sure if we thought it was the right thing to go ahead and do, but... Tony says, just reading it now, didn't notice it before. It's good. If you could send a, a picture of that to Twitter, it's www.twitter.com. And it's Twitter, it's got three T's, but it's T-W-I-T-T-E-R. -T I was subscribed to Viz. I, I cancelled it when money got a little bit, you know, I, I had to cancel some of the luxuries. Katrina was so sick in hospital. Um, but she's going to be on Dell's arm, isn't she? And as long as we all sort of... Dell's wearing... I used to love these jumpers. Yeah. Kind of like the soft patch here and the epaulets. My granddad used to wear them, like a bus driver jumper. Yeah, yeah, I used to love that as a kid. You know what we're doing, then we can lead Katrina. Stelios's new wheels made a safe touchdown at Luton. All those bumlicks. Yeah. A new employee arrived to lighten the load at Liverpool. And this football fan made it to the World Cup just in time. That's a shame. That's a shame. I was On airline next oh. week. A Twats. <laughs> Banjo Bellens. Banjods. Blast from the past at Liverpool. Toddler trouble at Luton. Oh, oh. And Katrina's big day is in. This, all right. Well, the Tony bounce. sent the picture. I'm excited. All right, that's that. 
So let's have a look. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, Lindsay. whatever. Her big day. Oh, who's, oh no. Oh, have you heard this? Did you hear the Skype remix? That was incredible. Right, let's have a little look. Her big day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I read with even more interest than Ian Lee did about the piss poor list of celebrities that have visited Clifton Rocks Railway. And I see that Mr. Lee has offered to visit this attraction if they pay for his fares. Well, I was on the telly in the 80s. They went to Hollywood and appeared in five of the worst films ever made. I am now working part-time in a garden centre again and would be delighted to attend if they paid half my fare. I hope this makes the relevant interest. Oh, that is brilliant. My letter got a response. Oh, God, I'm made up. We are done, everybody. Uh, we're going to go and raid someone. We're not going to have to do that for a long, long time. Let's get serious. 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 Yeah. Um, okay. So look at that. Seventy nine subs over the last two days. Two hundred. Oh, two hundred fifty was the target. What? Music. So I didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise that that took us over the target. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I yo. didn't. I didn't do the math. Music soul. Thank you very much indeed. And we got nine patreons. That is a good. That is a good day's work. Well done. You suckers. Graphic. I'm joking. That is a really, really good day's work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so appreciated. Yeah, it really is. Um, a little bit of business. Tomorrow night at nine o'clock, I am playing Rainbow Six with the computer game show. Guys, I'm not streaming it, but they are streaming it. So do come and watch that. That's going to be it's a really old shooty bang bang game. That's going to be a car crash. We are back Friday night at eight o'clock. And, and it's free. And I will probably do a bit of streaming on Saturday, actually, just to see if we can get up to that one, two, five mark. If we haven't made it, see if we can get a few more patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone that that subbed, that that paid, that Patreoned, that didn't, and just came and watched. It thank is appreciated. You. Thank you. Let us go and do a. Raid. Let's go and raid. No, let's find someone new. Let's find someone new. Let's find someone new. Let's go to just chatting. Um, it doesn't still doesn't let you do that. Okay, so we'll go down. Oh. I mean, is that still happening? Uh, um, bottom left. Uh, I mean, I mean. Oh, let's go. What's, what's happening in Tokyo? Place I'm not going to be able to get to for another two years. Thanks, Andy. Shut up, Andy. Is what we just saw. Yeah, but we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. Totes. <laughs> Damn, today's, on, today's on another level. Holy totally, shit. Totally right in this. These will get deleted, though, which is nice. Look at that. I wanna, I've right, been let's there. Go say hi I've been there. Him. I want to go back. I want to take my babies there. Imagine my babies walking along that street. Imagine that. But it won't be, won't be next year. But it's good, actually, because that means, not, it means I can save a little bit of money. All right, everybody. See you later. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Always do. My blood bar, I have no idea. <laughs>